Space Rock 30, Bill and Jay's Excellent Podcast, with your hosts, Jay Odom and Billy Quinton. Our special guest this evening is Russell Mooney. Let's roll. All right, y'all, this is Rock 30, Bill and Jay's Excellent Podcast, episode 11. We have made 11 episodes now, believe it or not. We've made it this far. Yeah. So. <laughs> People say we couldn't make it. That's right. We still have it, but we're getting closer. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We're getting there. Oh, man. Well, we're excited because we have, uh, first of all, I'm Billy Quentin. I'm Jay Odom. Yeah, and we have the man, the myth, the legend. we got Russell Mooney here, and if you're even remotely around Rockwall, you know about Boots Burgers. And I knew about it 30 years ago when I came here. I think it was the first thing they told me. Is it on a lake? Well, that doesn't matter. You got to go to Boots Burgers. <laughs> That's right. You know? <laughs> so there's no better way to start a podcast about Boots Burgers than we dive yeah, in a Boots to a Boots Burger. <laughs> so I'm going to give you yours first. <laughs> All Jay, right. And you tell them what you ordered. What's yours? You don't get too fancy. I, I keep it simple. Cheese and mayonnaise. You're sick. like my son. You're 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 straight up. Now I go with the double double with onions and uh, ketchup and mustard, and I put in a little. We've got the relish here. Do you want some of the relish? No, that's hot relish, man. It's I don't good. put a ton on it. It's really good, but I put some on here. You ever eat it? You won't eat it without it. Really? <laughs> it's, well, let it's me try good. some. Yeah. So put some on there and see what you think All right. with your fancy small headset. <laughs> see if that makes a difference. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank While you. you're doing it, I'm going to ask Russell here to jump in. Let's start from the beginning, Russell. Um, I know this is important. we got to get it out there. You're married? Married. <laughs> okay. And you're married to Tracy? To Tracy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we, we've been together for about 15 years and been married for coming up on six that's great right. that is great and good so, memory there i know <laughs> we've already cornered a couple other guests when we say how long you've been married or they stop and we well, have to edit well they made us cut it out they yeah, said exactly. <laughs> take that out yeah by the way i got that wrong so we need to edit that if my marriage is going to stay together uh and you have one son one son uh gunner his name is gunner mm -hmm. his birthday's today all right so happy birthday it's 32 hmm. you don't look old enough to have a 32 year old didn't think I would, really didn't think i'd live that long <laughs> I guess I'm doing something. Well, right. don't die here tonight. Okay, we'll try. We'll stay right. here. <laughs> okay, and the the great thing about it, and we're going to go into the family deal when we start talking Boots Burgers. Wanted to get to the immediate family, but I love the angry orange jersey. Talk about the jersey you got mm -hmm. on here. Okay, I'm not going to give any names because this is a game worn jersey, uh -huh. and I'm pretty sure they weren't supposed to take it home with them. <laughs> but I have the home and away jersey. I know. Yeah. The guy's name is uh his nickname's Big Wave Dave. He'll know who he is. <laughs> and uh, this jersey was uh, 83, I believe. 82 or 83 game-worn jersey back then. So that's when we were the angry orange. Love that. You know, and we're not very angry anymore. Well, so. <laughs> we do have the jerseys recently. They put some angry orange on there. It's good. But the only thing that was bothered me was you have angry orange, but it was on a black jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I feel like if you're angry orange, it needs to be on orange. It needs to be on orange jersey or white jersey or white with orange. Jerseys. Yeah, and with orange. And if we, I can remember times they wore the white jerseys, and I'll probably get blasted for not remembering this right. But I swear <laughs> I remember a time when they wore the white jerseys with the white pants. I think they did with orange mm -hmm. stripes down mm -hmm. the sides mm -hmm. of the pants. But usually it was the opposite. It was orange with white, white with orange. Mm -hmm. I believe that's right. Okay, Co so in high I'm school, glad Coach Webb is not able to get to me. So. <laughs> Actually, he's here. Yeah. Well, come on in, Coach. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so you're not a big fan of the black and uh, other colors being mixed in and all that. Because I can tell you right now, my wife is not. I don't care for the black uh -huh. or the gray or any of that. Right, mm, right. Let's do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> we're, orange, we're orange or white. Mm -hmm. Orange or white. Be proud of it. I'll don't... say this. You know, I didn't grow up here, but been here a long time. And I remember I've told this story before. I just got here. I mean, I just got married. So I'm like, all right, I got to go support the jackets. I'm going to get me a hat. And I went to Rockwell Sports Center, got a hat. On the hat was a little bit of black around the ring of the Rock and R. Mm -hmm. And I came home. I was like, hey, check it out. I got it. And she goes, yeah, you're taking that back. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? She goes, there's black on it. We don't wear black. We're, we're orange and white. I'm like, yeah, it, black's kind of cool on there. No, no. Not that's having. going back. Just keep the receipt. Um, cause you're not wearing that. And I'm like, Oh, uh, uh well, and then of course that's our, well, it may have been our first argument as a couple. 
<laughs> you know. But anyway, that's what I learned. But I never really had that much passion about it. And then mm. I go and see my high school team a few years ago, and we're always blue and silver. And they put in a little red, and I about hit the roof. So I know exactly. A red. Yeah. yeah, they put in a little red, like a little red on this helmet and on the on the pants or something. I'm like, no, no, no they, that ain't they it. They always got to do a little bit extra. Right. Just pushing and so, for a little, just and, that's, and it's about the kids like it, and so the coaches let the kids pick, you know, and all mm-hmm. that. But the old school, now it's you, hard. You can have that orange and white. If you want to wear that chrome helmet, that's cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah. all that black. <laughs> I got the black helmet behind you, Billy. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I mean, we, you can have that down in Heath if you want to. But, I mean, that's the bad. Now, how often do you are that's you the bad Heath? guys anyway. So. Are you, you and Heath very often yourself? <laughs> I pass through it. Oh, yeah. But I don't stop. <laughs> now, do Heath people come to Boots? Yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah, okay. a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. You know, I see Rodney. You know, yeah. whenever he decides to eat real food. Sl- slumming it on so. this side of town. Well, he lives on this side. He I mean, lives, he oh, lives, that's right. He, he lives, lives across the street. He lives right next door to him. Yeah, so. yeah. Right. And yeah. so, but we give him a hard time about it. And uh, and I'm going to tell you again, Autumn wasn't happy about Rodney going over to Heath. She let him know. It got a little testy there, too. Yeah. So should've, She's not should've. joking. It should have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we I, still, for... I still have a hard time serving him sometimes. <laughs> Rodney, if you're watching, you may want to check the burger before you take a bite. I was going to say yeah. he, that was probably the last time he's ever. <laughs> now, he, you know, now I, I call him by his name. Now I used to be coach, right? But I can't do it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Can't I can't do it. coach Rodney. anymore. <laughs> can't do it, Rodney. <laughs> we love you anyway. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so uh, Jay, is it good? It's excellent. I actually love this stuff. <sighs> Isn't it I good? You, I tell you what else it's good on. If you'll save the rest of that, put it on your scrambled eggs. Oh, that sounds. So is it? Good. It's relish, but it's jalapeno relish. Yes, right? it's made out of a out of a. It's called Cajun Chef. They're pickled mm. jalapenos, Pickle, okay. and they're pickled with garlic and carrots, and then uh, they're they're they got a real snap to them if you eat the whole ones. They're mm. a lot different than the ones you buy at the grocery okay. store. So okay, all right. So let's dive in here a little bit. We went over the family stuff. I want to get into the the meat of it. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> okay, the meat of we <laughs> all right. Boots Burgers. Let's start out with started by your granddad. Yes. And that was Clarence Boots. Movie, Let's right? say what it is. Because yeah. I feel like we've got a Good lot point. of listeners Good who point. may, what, Good what is Boots? What, yeah. And it's so unique. It's hard to describe, mm-hmm. but it is a landmark in Rockwall for sure. Mm-hmm. And like you were saying, it, it's like uh, if somebody comes to town, you have to go to Boots. Mm-hmm. People say, well, what is there to do in Rockwall? Well, first you go to Boots. Mm-hmm. Like it is a staple. I don't care if you just amazing. ate lunch. Go over to Boots Burgers and get a burger. I don't right, care. Right, right. You don't like it. <laughs> That's right. We, so, uh, it, it. I mean, what's unique about it is that it's in the middle of a neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Literally yep. in the middle of a neighborhood. Literally. Which is crazy. Well, and, and, and it's served out of a house, actually out of your garage, your makeshift that, garage, right? No. Never been a garage. Oh, okay. So on the website, or not your website, but other places, they say it's a converted garage. I'm going to clear never, that up. Yeah, yeah never been Never been a garage. Okay. Um, what you see on the long side there in my childhood didn't even exist mm-hmm. wow. um, and then it was just a covered <laughs> patio where the tables were back in the 70s okay and uh the the building now is built purposely that's what it's for the original building that my grandfather built from what my uncle and my dad and everybody tells me it was a bunch of he brought a bunch of pallets and plywood and screens and the roof that was on it was the roof off of a storage building that had been torn down and that's how it started. They didn't even have a phone. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't have phone or gas. I think they ran on propane. <laughs> and the phone, they ran a long cord and set the phone in the window of the house, and they would run and answer the phone, get orders. <laughs> how great is that? And, and so, all right, so Boots, why was he named Boots? Why did he get the nickname Boots? Do you know? I, I will get the story wrong, but it's something to do with when he was a little kid that he ran around in nothing but his cowboy boots. Okay. Whether or not that's... <laughs> If I got that right or not, somebody will, my uncle will tell me. Um, <laughs> but that's the story that I was always told. Okay. Whether that's factual or not, I really don't know. Mm-hmm. But um, Boots Burger is not the first restaurant that he had in Rockwall. Right. The first restaurant he had in Rockwall was in the early 50s. And uh, set where the Sonic sets at the split. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And him and his business partner, I'm not sure who that was either, drug a house in and set it there. And they were the first drive-in in Rockwall with car hops. <laughs> And I think it was 52 is wow. when they did that. So wow. he worked for Ford Motor Company off of East Grand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, he would make sandwiches in his kitchen at home and sell them in the parking lot at Ford, mm-hmm. even when he worked at Ford. So, so he was an entrepreneur. He was, he was, a, he was a, 
um, I believe he was a chef in the army. Okay, I was going to ask. I'm sure yeah. he served. So and so so he was, and uh, he always cooked for the football team mm-hmm. in the summer times when they would go to Oklahoma to practice because oh, you wow. couldn't practice in the summer here. Mm-hmm. Right. So the coaches and the players and would go to Oklahoma to practice and my grandfather and killer <laughs> would killer would cook their meals for him. Killer would spit on his head. You're talking about killer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly who I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> There's a video of killer when Rockwell wins the 63 uh, 68. state or, oh, 63 state championship. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 63? they won in 63. 63. Yeah. And Killer's celebrating by spinning on his head uh-huh. in the field, on the field. And that's somebody's got a film of that? Yeah, it's on, yeah. It's on YouTube. You can okay. go watch that. Because yeah. you can go, see the final play. In here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see the final play where Rockwell <laughs> wins on a miracle touchdown pass uh-huh. uh, to uh, Mark Knoll, I believe. And uh, he catches a touchdown because it was already, they were playing Dulles, and it looked like it was over. Mm-hmm. They win 7-6, to six, and Killer goes out in the field and spins on his head to celebrate. That was out in Waco. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he was doing the head spin way before the head spin. And I think was doctors had told him, "You got to stop doing that. You're going to break your neck." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. And he's like, "Ah, I'm uh, doing it. I'm going to do it." Killer was still on the field doing field work and cleaning and mowing and everything the fields even when I was in school in the '80s. Uh, so, oh wow! I didn't know yeah, oh yeah, he drove the little John Deere green tractor. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, but I started out. I played football in grade school and all the way through middle school, and we we played on Hobart Wisdom Field. Yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And my early memories of football in Rockwall were my grandfather never would pay to go in the games, but we would go around to the back of the football stadium down there when the press box was still on the other side on the telephone poles in that stadium, <laughs> and we would park on the back fence and sit in the back fence back of the truck and watch the football games when the high school team still played at Hobart Wisdom Field. So that's great. Wow, that's great. Yeah, because and I, I really you know now the youth leagues play there. Mm-hmm. They use that that, and it's a really kind of cool little stadium there. Mm-hmm. If you've ever you've been, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. It's got it the old kind of cool. big blocks there as your seats and stuff like yeah. that. And they still have the long press box in there, you mm-hmm. know, on the back of it, and you just walk down. So yeah, these are this yeah. is really neat. This is really neat to have Russell here and talk about some of these things. Yeah. Um, okay, so I read that Boots had a number of uh, businesses. But then he decides to settle on creating Boots Burgers mm-hmm. uh, out of his house mm-hmm. there. And now, do you know what what caused him to do it? Did he just decide, hey, man, you just talked about how he built it. Did he say, man, I make some good burgers. Let's just see what happens. I really don't know why he started it. Um, <clears throat> started it in 68. I know that the Ford Motor Company closed the production plant in 70, I believe, mm-hmm. or right around there. So it ha- might have had something to do with that. But I know that... When he started it, the only you didn't have to have permits and business permits and everything back then. The only thing you had to do is you had to go to your neighbors, ask them if it was okay, yes. and if everybody was on board with it, move forward. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Mm. Do we we have some old photos right of mm-hmm. uh, Boots Burgers back that uh, Russell sent us? So this is um, that's when Boots passed away. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, the church that we went to was the Free Methodist Church, and they fun- it, we they packed the church to capacity, and there were people outside for the funeral. Mm. Wow! All the football players, everybody that remembered him was there. When when did he pass away? Do you remember? I was ten, so it would have been in I believe in June of seventy eight. Seventy eight. Okay. All right. There we go. That's oh, what I was thinking wow. of. Look at this. This is what you were talking about before, mm-hmm. right, Russell? Yep. With the yep. uh, got the roof over it. Um, there you can see where the window is now, right? Mm-hmm. The window's over there. But that was uh, just screen. Now, that, that looks like screen. the same Coke machine. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wish it was. You Look see, that that's one. the original that building. Old? That's the original building. No Coke machine. Mm-hmm. What is that, an old icebox? It's an old icebox. Okay. Look at that. And if you go to that, back to that other picture, the boxes underneath that table right there mm-hmm. are the chips. They never had to worry about taking them in the building. They just oh, left just them out. Them there. Just left them. They didn't have to worry about anybody stealing. <laughs> Nobody steal them at night or anything? anything. So now, speaking of chips, that's the only, besides a burger, that's all you've ever... That's it. That's it. Now, why no fries? Pain uh, in the butt? Yeah, I don't really know. It was, mm-hmm. I think that it, it's probably started out that it was just keep it as simple as possible. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and that's just the way it stayed. Everybody always says, why don't you want to do fries? I say, well, why? <laughs> yeah. Doing fine without fries. Yeah, exactly. Why know. would we make it more, more <laughs> why difficult? Would, why would you have to go and do all that stuff? Right. So. Okay. And then here, now, is this, is your, this is your grandmother. This is my grandmother the, and my Uncle David. Okay. Okay. He is, he's been doing this for a, 
over 20 years, I know. I just don't know exactly how long. But that man has been a big part of my life since I was at least a teenager. And he's someone that I always know that no matter what, if something comes to brass tacks, I can always depend on that man no matter what. <laughs> he's 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 been, like I said, he's been like a plus one father for me ever since I was a teenager. Wow. So That's great. There, there, so there he is. That That's is my great. grandfather when he was in the military during World War II. Looks, Looks like cool a military that guy. guy. Yeah. I know, very well dressed. Looks yeah. like a. Look at that guy. Yeah. And now that's the old courthouse. Mm -hmm. That's the old courthouse. The man of the fourth from the right, that is Oscar Horton. He right had there. polio in one leg. That's why he walked on crutches. Okay. Um, my grandmother used to tell me but that he could hook up a mule team sitting on the ground even with polio. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So this, that courthouse, I think, because I remember doing some, I did I did the murals at the courthouse now that shows okay. all the courthouses. Yeah, yeah. And if I remember, I, that one, it, it burned. It, it burned down. Mm -hmm. And I think like in 1898 or I something like no that. Idea. Yeah, I think something like that. I may be wrong on that. Nice I know people are correct. But yeah, that's nice. Golly. Yeah, from what I understand, it was a lot like Big Red. Yeah. My, yeah. my great-grandfather is the one on the front row on the right-hand side. That's Oscar Horton. Look at that. And he was the county treasurer, and I'm not positive of the year, but I believe it was around 1916. <clears throat> that is great. Look at that. And that's in front of that courthouse mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, I'm off then. If that's 1916, then that courthouse lasted later than 1898. Yeah. Um, but we got one lady there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure. My grandmother, I believe, on the back of this picture has the names wrote down, but I don't oh. know for sure who mm -hmm. any of those people are. Wow. I'm that sure is, somebody does. Who's the sheriff? Is that the sheriff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is him. In the that other, right out of a movie. In the, in the in the other picture, if you look, he's got his gun down at his side. The other way. Yeah, go to the back. There you go. If oh, you go down, he's right there. He's got his pistol. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got the pistol. <laughs> he's ready, man. That is cool. Golly. How great is that? And then of all the guys. The one guy there in the white decided, I'm going with the sweater. I'm going with the sweater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you got the guy that's four foot eight. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Is that I'm, David Sweet? I'm, I think that's David I'm Sweet David. that jumped in. <laughs> I'm sure all of these people are people we are supposed to know. I know. Yeah. Somebody, somebody somebody's somebody grandma. Knows them. So we're going to get some letters. We're going to get yeah. letters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Glad it's y'all. <laughs> and this is my, grand, my great grandfather, Oscar Horton. And that is his wife. And my great aunt and my other great aunt, my grandmother's two sisters, and that is a Maxwell, I believe, that car is a Maxwell. And from what I've been told from the stories is that my great grandfather ran the first jitney service out of Rockwall and he would drive people back and forth to their destinations for a fee. Really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So is this picture Which in Rockwall? Which later became this is in Rockwall. This but is in Rockwall. I wonder what house that is. Yeah, I was uh, going to say where that house, house is. If, yeah. I don't know which house that is. I know that they, for a long time, they lived out on an area off of where you would now be 1141 where you turn left on to Quail Run. Mm -hmm. They owned a lot of property out there. Okay. So, But that was a long time ago. Uh, the house that they lived in when they moved to town, which, man, I don't even know the years, is the house that is right next door to Bootsburger. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, Very cool. Uh, I had a really good Uber joke there that you talked over, Jay, so we're going to have to re-edit and uh, get that joke in. No. Let's hear it. No, I'm not going to do it now. It? Timing's off. Timing's I off. ruined it. Timing's <laughs> off. God. <laughs> Great. Great. Okay, so let's um, let's get back to uh, David uh -huh. and your uncle. I saw David today when I went and got the burgers, and I said, why aren't you on the podcast? And he said, I don't have a computer. And I had to explain, you don't need a computer it's to cool. be on the podcast. Cool. But you could tell he's like... Ain't my bag. <laughs> He's old school. No yeah, computer, no from... email, right. no cell phone, right. nothing. <laughs> and I, I've but that's the way he likes it. That's so. great. Yeah. And that, boy, I bet you he's happier than any of us with he all is. that stuff. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. With all that stuff not yeah. bugging him. Um, but the thing that's funny is I've seen him on, you know, there's been a million people come and do stories mm -hmm. on y'all. And every time it's been at, obviously at Bootsburger, and I'm assuming David's like, yeah, if you want to come here, I'll talk to you if you come here and bring mm -hmm. everything in, but yep. I ain't going anywhere. I ain't going to do anything. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. Absolutely. Yeah. That I love cool. that. Okay. So let's, uh, so you start um, the, the, the restaurant there. Talk about, you could not do that now. If somebody said, all right, that's a good idea. I want to serve some burgers no. out of my house. You, How many things are y'all doing basically illegally? Not really illegally because you're grandfathered. Right. But that you could not even do right now. Um, a restaurant in a neighborhood. Ain't happening nowhere. Uh-uh. 
Bottom line. You and the only thing that y'all have, you can't eat on the premises. Can't eat on the premises. You used to be able to in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to throw dirt on people or anything, but we had a neighbor move in down the street about two blocks from where my grandparents had their business. Mm-hmm. And they didn't like it. So they started raising a stink and uh, went to the city and said, well, I don't see anything in the says they're allowed to eat on the premises. So, long story short, they got the tables taken away, and I believe Bobby Sparks was on the city council back then. Mm-hmm. And the people went back because their next step was they were going to get the Coke machines taken away. Wow. Now, who named these people? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we this, want to know. This no, is the no, reason. No, 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 no. Are they still in Rockwell? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Um, I hope uh, they're listening. <laughs> the, but, no, um, the, um, the, basically the city council, from what I was told, my grandmother told me, is that Bobby said, you've done enough. That's it. Mm. And that was the end. That's of it. end of it. So, do these people have they ever come by to get a burger? Um, yeah, some of their family does. Okay, because right. that's awkward. <laughs> no, it's it's really not because I've known them all of my life. Right. So, um, the but, people that cause the stink, the actual people, they probably don't come by to get it. Or do no. They? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that, that, how long ago was this? That was in the seventies. Okay. All right. Um, oh. There, there's there. They had a son that <clears throat> enjoyed the burgers, but. There, his mother wouldn't allow him to eat it in the house. <laughs> Golly! So, hey, so do you like... get people who who start to eat outside, and do you have to tell them, or I don't tell them. You just yeah. yeah. It's it's so rare that anybody will sit down to eat a burger out there. I'm like, why would you sit down out there? There's no tables. There's no yeah. trash cans. Yeah. Why would you think you could eat out there? <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'll give you an example today, and it goes back to another story that I'll tell you. Um, there was a young man came up today about one o'clock and a uh, very thick accent. It's from Buenos Aires. Oh. Okay. Argentina? <laughs> now, that story goes back to another story. A few months, uh, I guess it's been over a year ago now. We had three guys show up and they had something in their hands and they were walking to the door. My uncle always tells a story. He says, I hope that's not a gun. <laughs> and um, three guys walk up, they start talking to us. Anyway, they're from Venezuela. Okay. They have a television show in Venezuela called Hamburger Saros. And they asked if they could do a story on us. And we said, sure, 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 we can do a story. And uh, so they stayed around for most of the day and filmed a lot of stuff and ate burgers and everything. And they were so super impressed with it. And uh, so somewhere in Venezuela, there's a episode of their television show with Boots Burger on it. That's <laughs> igual a Robert. <risa> Aquí estamos en Texas, amigo. Una hamburguesa más, un local más, un precioso más, un dios de la hamburguesa más, como los que conocimos en Oklahoma, como el que conocimos como en Oklahoma. Como los dioses Oklahoma. griegos, ¿no? perdón, es como que va teniendo sí. como Zeus. Pinta, la pinta que tiene. Sí. My, my, my uncle said, I said, I don't know how you're going to understand what I say. He said, I will take care of that. <risa> and um, so today this young man shows up and he's friends with one of the guys from that television show and he is in town for a concert or something and he's going to be here for only three days so he made it a point to in his to come out in his rental car and find boots burger so that he could have a boots burger today all right so and you are known everywhere i mean i i, I don't know of anybody like when we had uh katrina pearson on here mm-hmm. did you watch that podcast mm-hmm. we had to quiz her to make sure she knew rockwall and when we right. said where do you get a burger and she's like well it's boots burger yeah, she knew, mm-hmm. you know, and she said her grandfather was yeah, the one that yeah. would, would, uh, would kind told of surprising. Her. I was ready for, you know, yeah, Whataburger, b- b- maybe Ben 303, right, you know, right. something fancy. That's right. why, <laughs> who was it that was on with you guys? So I'm always surprised when you, you start talking to people that are from Rockwall and they say, Where is your favorite place to get something to eat? Yeah, yeah. and I'm going, I'm ashamed of some people. I said, <laughs> I said, Randy Webb did not say Boots Burger. And oh, if he yeah. wanted to get back in the good graces of people from Rockwall. <laughs> oh, Rod- Rodney. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Rodney. I'm sorry. Hey, I call him Randy, not even the Heath. <laughs> That's, hey. yeah. That's the new name. That's we need to all name. call yeah, him I Randy. thought his name was Benedict. <laughs> I didn't know. Exactly. So. The other day I said, hey, Judas, you want to mow that yard over there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get every one of us. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Rodney didn't say boots, did he? When we talked Mm-mm. about uh, no. that's true, mm. that's true. Because most everybody, when you say or you ask me, you know, hey, where do we? You know, we're gonna be in Rockwell. Where we get where you go to boots, and you have to give them the whole. You need to get there between eleven and one thirty. I hope it ain't Monday or Sunday. <laughs> and I love now. Let's go back to the. Okay, we did some math before mm-hmm. uh, you got yes, here. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. 
And I saw in there that y'all serve around 200 burgers a day. That's what we shoot for. Okay, that's what you shoot for. And the whole point of it is... Uh, you you basically serve until you run out of meat for that day. We try. Okay. We we try not to do that anymore. We got a good meat, a better meat supplier now, and they we get our meat the same meat we've always got, but we get it. They'll shrink wrap it now for us, so we don't have to worry about is it going to go old, is it going to go mm. bad. We use what we need to use. We try not to, but there's days you run out of patience long before you run out of meat. So, <laughs> so that was the reasoning then, because uh, it wasn't shrink wrapped, so you well, need to get it done. You need to get you need to use what you have <clears throat> because you don't want to use you don't want to use old meat. Right, right. That's what we're known for is fresh. Sure. So and if you're going to be fresh, so you're never pulling out. Uh, frozen patties never, or anything like that. Never, frozen meat. No, never, 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 never. And talk about the fat that uh, is in these uh, burgers. Yeah, we're purely not grass-fed. Um, we're purely not vegan. We're not plant-based burgers. <laughs> not and, keto. And we're and we're not we're not ninety-three fives. We are seventy-five twenty-five. We are twenty-five percent, and they make it for us, and it's always been that way. <sighs> wow. The, the fatter the meat, the more the grease, the better the burger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And because that's the bottom line. The standard's like 20, right? Or the, standard, the standard chuck, I think, is 20. But a lot of people now are eating <clears throat> up with this 90, 10, sure. 93, mm-hmm. 7. And it's just, that's not a burger. Right, know? right. Good that's point. meatloaf. That, that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's communist is what it, it is. It's, it's terrible. Right. Yeah. Something. <laughs> so that brings us, we were talking, me and Billy were talking about the, the griddle. Right. That's only the, the second, grill, that the second the... grill that's ever been in that building. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, how years. important is that grill? That that gas iron grill is probably the, the reason it tastes the way it tastes. Uh, that grill is that I don't really know how old that grill is. My uncle, that grill was in another place, and it sat behind the the, the Boots Burger, and he cleaned it up and got it in there, well over twenty years ago. I don't mm-hmm. know. But it's got at least 20 years of seasoning in it. So 1,000 yeah, burgers just... a week. So let's do the math. All right. I, think, I think I th- I'm going to throw him under the bus. I think Dave Rayco and his wife did the math one time. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure Amy did. I'm, yeah. I'm sure David did. I, d- I went out when the, when their, their boys were <clears throat> in high school on senior night. We would cook burgers in their backyard. Yes. And, yes. And actually, Bart Miller was the first one that did that. Okay. Oh, wow. All the way back when Xavier was here. Okay. Wow. So. Wow. So. So we've got at least a thousand a week. Yep. God, that's a lot of burgers. Mm-hmm. 52 weeks in a year. Mm-hmm. There's 52,000 per year. Now, you do take a week off, right? Take two weeks off. Two weeks off. So 50,000. 50,000. 50, and how many years are we 55 getting? years. 55 that we know of for sure. That is 2.75 million burgers. Out of an 8 by 12 building. <laughs> yes. That's, That's crazy. Bad. And I think Autumn is probably... <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> I know. I can tell you she's eaten at least... A couple hundred thousand of them. <laughs> well, dude, let me tell you this. When we lived, like I said, we lived on Williams, which is a couple blocks away. Mm-hmm. Every Saturday, you get up, especially in the summer, but you got up. Who's getting Boots Burger? We just go down there and got a Boots Burger every Saturday morning. Now, they didn't even count the other days that you would do it, you know, but every Saturday morning, that was your weekend routine. And so I remember just eating Boots Burgers left and right when I first moved here. And I'm thinking, this is, here's the thing that was great <clears throat> when I married Autumn was she used to live, when I first met her, she lived in this little apartment. It was a one uh, single building apartment behind Shirey's. It had okay. a garage. Remember there was a garage yeah, but, and then there was an apartment above. Yeah. That's where she lived. Shirey's. Shirey's was the barbecue place that now Route 66 is there. Okay. <clears throat> it doesn't exist anymore. Right. Got you. Right. Yeah, and the apartment doesn't exist anymore. It got tore down. Uh, but when I first met her, she was living there. That little lot. It's yeah, empty that little lot. lot that's empty. Yeah, there was a was. tiny house there and that garage. Yes, there was, really? a, yeah, there was a tiny house there. And so, anyway, uh, I go first time, our first date, she makes dinner for me. And so, we go and I go, you live behind a barbecue place? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm in love with you already. <laughs> How is this not better? And so then, you know, we get married. And she's like, yeah. And I'd already had Boots Burgers. And I said, we can just walk to Boots Burgers anytime we want. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, man, you are the best wife ever. I mean, <laughs> she's got me on, you know, that we got Boots Burgers and Shirey's right there. 
was the greatest thing yeah, ever. It was perfect. It was perfect. So, uh, you know, and I, you know, when I was in college, there was a place that used to make these breakfast tacos out of their house. I remember I thought that was the great. They say, there ain't no place like this. Nobody else will do this. And I move here and you got the best burgers ever coming out of the house. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows about it. Everybody. How many stories have people done on you, do you think? Take a rough guess. Like TV crews, you know. Ah, man, it's. It's a it's a few, and I'll probably forget a few. Channel five, channel eight. Mm -hmm. We were done by the day tripper. Yeah, we the saw day, that one. Day tripper was day was tripper. he a cool guy? That has been the last time I looked at the numbers on that. He has rerun that episode more than any episode I've ever seen of that television really? show. And the last time I looked, that particular episode had a hundred and seventy thousand views. Mm. Do you get people who say it? We saw you yes. on Day Tripper. That's yes. why we came. To Absolutely, Rockwell. and every that's pretty cool. And every time they replay it, we know because you get oh, a little wow. surge. Yeah, the surge. Oh wow! Yeah, um, yeah. I watched that one, and if you watch, I think they did a whole Rockwall episode. Right? They did do a whole Rockwall. Episode. But yet, when you go to YouTube. I'll, I'll, most of it's been edited out, and it's the Boots Burger. It's the Boots. Yep. Yeah. Remember, they talked about the spaceship. Yeah, they 276. did. Yeah. Exactly. And the section of the show where Boots Burger was in has also been done on favorite burgers or favorite restaurants in okay. Texas. All right. So, wow. Wow. So that I'll tell you a little story we found. I don't even really remember who told us or how we found out, but we were told that um, either someone was on a business trip or their <laughs> child lives in San Francisco, and that they read about Boots Burger in the San Francisco Chronicle. <laughs> Wow. I was like... So it is a world-famous burger. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what been is in yours? What's your order? And you're going to make one for yourself. Uh, I'm usually a cheeseburger with mustard and jalapenos only. All right. Now, how many burgers do you eat a week? No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no it, everybody thinks that, but if you cook enough of them, you, you don't need enough of them. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Now, yeah. I, still, I will still eat at least probably one a week, for sure. If okay. you go to a restaurant... Do you I, I will compare them sometimes. That's okay, ask, yeah. Good call. <laughs> yeah, I will compare them sometimes. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not paying fifteen dollars for a burger. There's some out there. <laughs> yeah. Now, There's some in Rockwall. Besides you your burger, there. who's got the best burger that you've ever had? Mm, Scotty P's at Firewheel. It's got mm, a good burger. Okay. I've seen that place. Um, they're a little thicker, but they've got a good burger. Um, fast food burger. If you can get a good water burger, then you're going to get a good water burger. I like mm -hmm. Culver's. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's uh, one I was going to say. Culver's always surprise me. When somebody will say, "Let's eat Culver's," I never pick it. It's never but, your first, never thought, your first choice. But, no. but then somebody says yeah. Culver's. All right, yeah, I'll get one. And every time I get a burger from it's Culver's, good. I'm like, okay, this is a pretty good burger. But mm -hmm. me and Tracy, when we go somewhere, we'll we'll try their burgers. <clears throat> you know, you just you have to. We went to a little place in Richardson called Dale's Burgers. They cook on charcoal. Okay. And it was a decent burger. Okay. Um, there's another one in Waxahachie, which I haven't had in a, many years. It's called uh, Jiffy Burger. Okay. It's in downtown Waxahachie, and it is a little hole in the wall like yeah. we are. Yeah. Um, the other burger, the only other burger that we've had in Texas, traveling around and seeing stuff that we really liked is R&R &R in Waco. Okay. All right. And they cook it just like Boots Burger does. Do they really? Yep. See, I grew up in Lampasas, and we had Storms. Right. Uh, have you ever heard of Storms? And nope. it was, uh, and it was like one of the favorite burgers back in the day. But they do the Storm Special, which is triple patty, but they're thinner patties. Right. And they kind of do that. And then they, and and that was what I grew up with. And they're the, they're great. Mm. So I remember when I moved here, and Autumn says, "Well, you got to have a Boots Burger." I'm like, "Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll have it." But it ain't going to beat Storms. Well, damn it, if you didn't beat Storms. <laughs> <laughs> so you were good in Rockwell. Oh, you were like, man. Oh. Holy cow. This is good. This is really good. Now, every time I go back home, we go get a Storm special. But, uh -huh. man, these are just – I'm sitting here eating now. I mean, I'm, I'm wanting you to ask more questions so I can so finish can the burger. Finish. I, you know what I always uh, – I wonder about you guys. Do y'all ever get people who want to modify too much? Yeah. Because I get the feeling that you're like, out. Yeah, just we don't go. We, we don't you know, do <laughs> the, the trend, The trend lately is – weird and <laughs> you know the the people that come up and want a burger with no bun yeah oh, oh. i'm like <laughs> okay you ain't getting we'll, a discount we'll, we'll we'll do it we'll do it i saw you have that on the menu you can just no, no, no 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 uh, that's a patty mm -hmm. you know why that's on the menu because huh. people buy them for their dogs oh okay wow. Wow. them dogs hey, are good i'll tell you <laughs> i'll tell you a story that ties local how about this the babies yeah bruce nancy, and nancy. And bruce yeah when they come up when they would come up to Boost Burger, they would get an extra burger, and they got it for Pearl. <laughs> They're Great Dane. <laughs> I've, I've got pictures somewhere in my phone of Pearl standing with Bruce in front of the window ordering burgers. Really? 
Yeah, <laughs> absolutely do. Now, does she get the bun and everything? Yeah, mm. she gets plain a plain burger. All right. So, and, and they say that she eats in about four bites. Okay, I bet. So, so Great so you, Dane, yeah. If you get the people who are like lightly toasted, no, nope, we or, don't do that. You're like, just go. No. Just. <laughs> or, or if they don't know who you are and they say, I'd like my burger medium. And we, oh, you can know, you do a medium rare? We, we just say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the Saturday Night Live skit with the cheeseburger? Do you remember yep, this one? When the guy would order, the guy would come and go, oh, I think some uh, chicken tenders. All right, cheeseburger. Yep. He, uh, he would just yell back. And I, I would like a salad, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. And that's yep. all he made. That's what this is. It's like, it's here's exactly what you're right. getting. You have to go for a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. No, no price. Cheap. For cheap. So... We were talking about before you went on air. My uh, father-in-law, and mother-in-law, mm -hmm. uh, Glenn and Paulette Burks, yep. and you were talking. You've been serving them forever, as long as I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll know that when we order, that we get our orders back, and it just says, uh, "Yeah, Paul on there." Paul. Right? Yeah, yeah. And they were they, were they were Ma and Paul. Right, right. And uh, that's how long I've known them. I mean. When, what year did Autumn graduate? Uh, 85. 85. So she's two years before me. She graduated with my wife. Yeah. Okay. And um, She knew Tracy when I mentioned right, that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, so I've probably <clears throat> know I've known that family at least that long. Right. So. And both in the Shree, Autumn's sister. I didn't know this. You worked at Pizza Villa. I did. For a while. I did. Uh, slinging All, pizzas most of the way through, bit. Most of the way through, second half of the way through high school. So talk about that. You have Boots Burgers going. How come you're not working there, but you're working at the pizza place? Back then it was my grandmother. <clears throat> my grandmother and my aunt, I believe, ran it back then. Uh -huh. I believe that's right. I might be wrong. She had a few other people that worked uh, through the years with her sporadically. Um, uh, June Jones worked with the, her for a while. Okay. And she's still here in Rockwell, still one of my hamburger customers. Really? And um, she worked with my grandmother. There was a guy named Mike Leesman, which I don't really remember him. I know he was from California. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. but he didn't work for her very long. But my, after my grandfather died, my grandmother remarried, and her husband and her ran it for years and years and mm -hmm. years and years. So that's great. So okay, so you it starts in '68 officially. You kind of say '68, yeah, but it's around there, there, somewhere there. No changes. I mean, can you think of any changes that you've ever made? Like, oh man, we used to do this, but we don't do it anymore. Now we started doing this. Yeah, we, we did used to sell a triple once upon a time. Okay. Do people, but if people ask, you won't. No, there's a couple of old timers that will still <laughs> that will still do it for That us. seems like a lot, man. I just had a double-double. <laughs> I'm not eating again until, you know, uh, Sunday. Josh Frazier is one uh -huh. of the ones that will still get a triple. Okay. Congratulations on the World Series win, by the way. <laughs> yes. Um, We're trying to get him on the podcast, too. So, uh, get him. Well, we'll work on Mary. Um, <laughs> we will. Um, um, He's one of the few that still gets a triple, and there's a couple of others that have sporadically. They're grandfathered in. Yeah, they're kind of grandfathered <laughs> in. Jo Josh has been eating. He calls them three by threes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and and when he when he gets to come to town and get a burger, then we'll still make him a triple when he comes. Uh, to I town, love that. So. That's cool. There's no bigger disappointment than like if I'm scrambling on a, a day or whatever, and I come in and they're eating. Boots Burgers. I'm like, what the? What do y'all do? Well, we called. You didn't answer. You missed there's, it. There's nothing more defeating than oh, that. Oh, that's the worst. You know, because you know it's already too late to order. Yeah. You know, you already shut down or you already got your orders the in. The slot to get it. Well, I went there today to go get our burgers, mm -hmm. and it was 11 o'clock. I mean, you just opened, mm -hmm. and there's cars all over the place. People waiting, all that kind of stuff. It's just, I can't imagine. By 11.30, we were, it was a hour wait. God. Yeah, when I was there, you already told her it was like eleven fifteen, and he's like, "It's a forty-five minute wait." It's like, holy you, cow! Now, with all the cars, do y'all get any uh, current people complaining? No, we not really. Uh, Everybody's pretty cool about we, it. The family that lives Caddy Corner to us is still the same family in name that's always been. It mm -hmm. used to be, uh, it used to be uh, Moose Daniel mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. lived there mm -hmm. and his wife, and it's still his son that lives there. Okay. So we don't get any complaints there, and. The lady that lives across the street, directly across from us, has been family friends forever. I believe either my uncle or my dad went to school with her. Okay. I think it was my uncle, because he graduated in 68. I think Adam's granddad, J.L., and Moose were buddies. They were. Yeah. Oh. And they, they hung out. They were. Yeah. Um, hey, Caden, by the way, I'm almost done. This was really good. I'm sorry. I gave I'm him a little piece of Oh, did you give him some? Yeah. Oh, man, I, I wanted to rub bad. it in. Hey, don't worry, because <laughs> I was telling them before the show, almost, Pretty much every Saturday, unless I have a tournament. Every Saturday, my mom, I call her. I think I get up at 9.30. I'm like, hey, 
make sure you go get me some boots burger. <laughs> Every Saturday, I get three burgers. I get I, no cheese. I'm not a cheeseburger guy. I'm a hamburger what? guy. Whoa. With what? lettuce, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise. And but now and I'm you gonna, have three of them. And now I'm going to start adding the relish. Yeah, that, really that, good. that relish was good. Yeah, I'd never done the relish for a long time, and then Autumn convinced me one day, just try it. I'm like, you know, I'm not a relish guy, and she's like, it ain't pickle, it's yeah, jalapeno. yeah. All right. So if you, Glenn still eats it, oh, he's all in. So Glenn wants to be challenged with the hottest thing. He's all we're always trying to get the hottest peppers, the hottest sauces, because he wants to be challenged by that and try to eat the hottest. Doesn't thing. bother him. He's no. good. No, it doesn't bother him. Uh. Uh-uh. In fact, that was who called here and interrupted Ill because. I'd called him earlier to see how Boots got his nickname before you'd come mm-hmm. here. I was like, hey, because I know Glenn's going to know. Did he know? I, he, no. called, I, I, he wasn't home when I called. Oh, oh, oh. And so then he just called back while we're in the middle of this. Yeah, so I'll, yeah. I'll give him a hard time about that. But um, So very few changes. So if you took one of these burgers today <laughs> back to 1968. I don't think you would notice much difference. Wow. wow. There's That's not great. a lot of places that no, can say no, that. No, and, and as far as we know, we are the oldest continuously running restaurant in Rockwall. Mm. That's so. cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you ever think about? I know you. There was another Boots Burgers. You talked about this off the air. Yeah, my grandmother mm. had one. It, w- it didn't last very long. It was out on two seventy six, and uh, everybody talks about why didn't Boots Burger do French fries? She did French fries out there, but it was such a flash in the pan <laughs> place. It didn't last very long. Mm-hmm. That it just you know it's almost a footnote. Mm-hmm. So it didn't it didn't matter. And it much. never crossed y'all's mind to like you know what if we open one over in Heath or something like oh, that? Oh God no. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit a nerve. <laughs> he won't even allow a drive-thru. That's a good point. There, I mean, yeah. now is this You the can't place? have a Boots Burgers in that, there. If, if <laughs> no, I remember right, that picture, that is my grandmother and her sister. Uh-huh. That's Christine and Inez. <clears throat> um, I don't know for sure. I should have asked my uncle. I think it's called the Rock Inn. Oh, wow. Okay. I believe that's okay. what it's called. Um, and I don't know what year, but they, my, gra- my grandmother was young, so I'm sure it was probably 50s. Maybe what that is right there. Is that a, a cigarette machine? A cigarette machine. machine. Yeah, yeah, hadn't seen one of those in a no. while. You got the bottles all in there. Oh yeah, look at the over there. Yeah, the cokes. Those old. Look at that old. Uh, those old benches. Yeah, we got a table from. I think it's the Yellow Jacket Cafe. We still Yellow Jacket there. Grill. Grill. Okay, yeah. yeah. And oh, so we got one that of those. was Tarzan's place. Yeah, Tarzan. I remember Glenn was Tar- talking about him the other day. That was another story, and I don't know any details, so I'm not, I don't know if I should even say it. We had a guy named uh, Tarzan run in a grill. That's the best. Already the story's Arnold, great. Ar- there you Arnold go. Beringer was his name, <laughs> okay. Arnold Beringer. And uh, him and my grandfather were friends, and something to do with that when they started that. I don't know if they actually started it together or my grandfather helped him start it or something, but they had some kind of falling out, and Arnold would not eat a Boots burger. <laughs> So <laughs> that was it. That's it. Cut it off. Cut it off. So but you gr- know he stuff. wanted one. And oh my gosh! Like, oh. How many times are people like, "Hey, we're bringing Bert Boots Burger. What do you want?" Ah, I've made a pact with myself. But how hey. many did he secretly have? I don't. That were I doubt it. Not. Not. No. You don't think so? He was. He was no, holding strong. <laughs> so what's it like? You already talked about how close you and David are. What's it like working with him every day? Every day. Go, go, take us through a day, a normal day. Yeah. For you. Yeah. What time you start? What do you do? Well, mm-hmm. I usually get there for my other job. I work at Checkmate Embroidery, okay, and I've been there for close to 26 years now. Wow, I didn't know so that. So I worked two jobs for 26 years. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I go there early in the morning, and then I leave to go to Boots, get there about 1045 or so, and <clears throat> usually by about five, 10, well, the phone starts ringing a long time before I get there, but uh, usually about 1045, you'll start to see people pulling up, mm-hmm. waiting on us to open, mm-hmm. and then we have, on Tuesday mornings, we have two or three regulars. They are there when we open rain or shine mm-hmm. tuesday morning they are there so mm-hmm. they are first in line no matter how many phone calls there are no matter how many people <clears> are there <throat> and then we have one guy that comes virtually every day for unless he's on vacation with his kids or something like that he's been there every day for at least i'd say three years wow God. every day every single day holy cow hey we don't make him wait you see him walking up i say give me give me one for kobe goes right back out the window wow so wow that's pretty crazy now so you, so you call him by phone or order at the you, window yeah you can call him by phone and, and and people always you know if they can't get through there is an answering machine you know it says don't leave a message we're not checking the <laughs> is message. it a real answering machine no 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 okay because I, I picture no, the old no, no, you know no. <laughs> no it's a voicemail <laughs> the tape yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a voicemail it's my it's my uncle's daughter that let, that does that that's funny and, so, uh, but we don't check them 
Now, here's my where I'm going with this is, have you thought of online orders? No. <laughs> Can no. you imagine? think David would be doing David that? checking the online yeah. system. We're going to check a POS. POS <laughs> only stands for one thing, and you know what that is. So, so. Oh, Okay, man. so you get there, and then the day is you cook the bird. I mean, you, we, before, me, me and him have done it for so long together that we can fool around and jack around with customers and mm-hmm. stuff, you know, a little bit at the beginning of the day. But when we get in the weeds and we're 100 or 115 burgers behind, it's it's head down. Yeah, it's he's cooking. I'm putting them together. We never say a word to each other. Mm-hmm. Never ever say a word to each other. It just it's in and business. out, in and out, in and out. How do you know? I mean, do you just have the little tickets up there, yeah. and yeah. then you just know oh, this is yeah. grouped here, and we put it in the bag Absolutely. and let's go. Absolutely, okay. the hand- handwritten, handwritten. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is like hand- it was in '68. Handwritten, <laughs> no cash register. Um, we have a, a money box and three butter dishes. All right. <laughs> and that's not a joke. The three that's butter it. dishes are quarters, nickels, dimes, and the money box. That's cool. And it's always man. been cash only. Always cash only. You'll never go to never credit go cards. Never go credit cards. So I can't go up there with my Apple Pay with no, my phone. I'll, where you hold your phone. I mean, yeah, hold the I phone. mean, you can, but you're not going to eat. <laughs> Do you get kids up there holding their phone out no, at you? And no, no, because... <laughs> Their parents are, if they were down there, more than likely their they parents have eaten there and they know yeah. how it goes. So, but I, we have new customers every day. That's crazy. Every single day. I wish my business was like that. So, I know. God. I'm sure to be a new customer every day. It could be if well, you serve Boots Burgers. That's a good point. That's not a bad idea. Well, franchises. Hey, have hey, you ever Adam, thought of that? Adam Tovar did that. You know Adam? He's a real estate agent. I know that name. Um, I know that name. He came and got gift cards written on the back of Boots Burger cards. And he bought, I believe, 25 of them, and he had an open house, and that's what he gave away to the people that came okay, to the that's open a great house. Idea. That's a great so idea. It's Would good for us. It's good for him. Yeah. So, Would you ever franchise if somebody no. came to you? <laughs> you know, somebody no. came I'm in and just to, started throwing money I'm trying money to grow the you. business. No, we got yeah. internet Front, orders. You got a marketing guy. Look, you got a real estate guy. We're trying to expand. Look, if somebody <laughs> wants to come down there and throw seven figures at Dave, he's probably going to give them the house, the hamburger stand, and leave. <laughs> so, so what is the price to own Boots Burgers? I don't enough for him to get the hell out of ten million wall. something like that. <laughs> Probably more than what it would take Rodney to jump into that yeah, pool at uh, Bass Pro. One point two million. One point two million. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I think it'd be more than that. Yeah. Okay. I, I, because you know, if you're going to buy it from him, you can have it. Mm-hmm. Lock, stock, and barrel. Yeah. He's not taking anything. I have with a feeling him. there won't no. be a lot of negotiating. <laughs> there would not be any negotiating. <laughs> no, uh-uh. With the grandfather, and, and a lot of people have asked me, what's going to happen for the next generation? Does that carry? I, don't, I really don't know. Mm. I don't know. Is there anybody kind of in the wings that you think could, okay, they'd be good to take over? I don't think so. Oh, wow. No. They can't die. I, no. Well, then we can't die. You, know? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Right but there. you, you got to start. Tra- you got to start training. I, you know, I don't. I don't really know. We we don't discuss it. You know, because yeah. we've been doing it for so long. Yeah. My uncle's seventy four. Mm-hmm. You know, and and he tells me all the time. He said, "We're going to do it until I can't do it right. anymore." Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, he always tells everybody that interviews him the same thing. He says, it, "He said we'll close when you're when I'm laying dead in the floor and you kick me and I don't get up." <laughs> that's that's <laughs> all one it. of the deals. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, and he pretty much means it. He, you know, he's he's had a, a a couple of days where he's missed the past year or so and and uh his daughter has stepped up and, okay. and helped and and she does a great she did a great job um but i just don't know so would it be impossible for you to do it by yourself like yes. with as many orders Ooh, you couldn't do yes it? it would be impossible uh, yeah. for me to do it by myself yeah. <laughs> Gosh. i would have to take the phone and throw it in the backyard <laughs> and and i don't know i don't think i could that is crazy all right what's the craziest order you ever had do you, you remember like a crazy like we did one for <clears throat> We did one for a class reunion, and I believe it was my Aunt Darla's class mm-hmm. reunion, which was 76, I think. Rockwell High School. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I think we did 100 burgers for them. Okay. All right. Wow. Wow. Uh, while, while we were open. While you're open. So you had to still serve everybody else. <laughs> that was just a regular order during yeah, the middle no of the day. <laughs> Gosh. Famous. Is anybody famous come in? and, and uh, You're You like, know, people always have that little deal where they say, Chuck Norris came. Right. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> but know. he said he came. He you said just, he came. Yeah. yeah. Mike Strange. Mike Strange played the, for the Harlem Globetrotters. Right, right. Oh, okay. Wow. He right. still comes down when he's in town. Well, okay. He coaches in Allen. Okay. Um, he still comes down. Um, famous. Hmm. Because when I talked about storms, we would always have, I was telling them. Yeah, you know what? There is an old dude that comes down there. And famous is relative, I guess. Mm-hmm. But his name is Bruce Bowden. And he played the drums for... Uh, 
a band, an old band in the 60s called the Rose Garden. Okay. And they were on American Bandstand in the 60s. Okay. All right. So uh, they played, they had one hit, and it was <clears throat> called Last Plane to London, I believe. <clears throat> and um, he lives here in Rockwall. Okay. He, wor- he worked for and retired from Dart. Oh, Okay. Because that's what I was going to say. At Storms, we'd have famous people that came in, but it was always musicians because they're going from one gig to the mm-hmm. other, and I didn't know how many people would come through Rockwell, especially off 30, and somebody Wade, says... Wade, so, Wade Bowen has had our burgers. Okay, good. There you go. That's a good one. You know, so there's the Rose Garden. Mary, yeah. Mary Grace gets those for them when they come through. Okay, good. Town, that's a good so, one. That's a good and, um, one. You know, but there's not a family that's been in Rockwell for any amount of time that I don't know. Um when you do, when you go off location, you got to go do burgers for somebody like you know for Frank. Don't Robin. don't do it. I okay. just don't you do don't. it. All right. The o- the only people that we do that for that I do that for is Mary Grace. Okay. okay. Uh, she does her she does her charity every year for Lacey, mm-hmm. and uh, I I agreed with her to, that I would do that every okay, year. Okay, good. But yeah. it, obviously, you can't take the the grill with you. No, and so that's a no, big part it, of it. Th- if they want me to cook, here's <clears throat> the, the thing that we always do with Mary Grace, is I tell her I say you get the grill. You, you buy the meat for, buy the meat from us mm-hmm. put it all together and I'll come cook okay all right good all right so okay I, I, I don't know if you remember this so for the last three years and our football broadcast and you watch the games now and then don't yes. you? okay so I will give around October I have costume ideas for uh you know local costume ideas like I've done like last year I did a Rodney Webb costume is basically you can go as Rodney Webb and I had every school on his hat and on his shirt and you know and just left a blank space for the place he's going to be next year uh I did a Russell Mooney costume did you ever see this mm-hmm. okay <laughs> there we go right there I did. okay and uh and so I've got to tell you of all the costumes I've done on there this one was the most response. I've had the most responses because a lot of people are like, "Okay, I want to do that. I want to do that." Where you got, you can even get the beard and the mustache. That it's you part put on. of it, yeah. And then you have the burger there. You have the window, and then I even put on there. You order early, but when we run out of costumes, we're done for the day. You know, even Pepsi you kind of go there. And chips rack not included. Right, That's right. It's not included. <laughs> you can get the extended one where you have a chips rack and a. Coke machine but kind that's of plastic a, that's one extra. walk with you. So uh, if that's you want to go into business with me and we start selling those, just let me know. Man, oh, man. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the day that you throw David out of the box and bring me up there to the okay. football game. Hey, <laughs> that can be done. Now, now that he's no longer mayor or judge, oh, you no, know, no, no. you know, he's, he's, <laughs> if, if he wasn't on the broadcast, I wouldn't be able to laugh at y'all. I so. know. That's exactly it. He is the best. He is. He's really good. Uh, okay, so what do you do when you want to relax? You want to get away from do- like you don't serve burgers for two weeks, but you have to have other times where you're taking a break or going somewhere, right? We take we have two vacations a year: one July the fourth, mm-hmm. and one the week of Thanksgiving. Okay, and we sometimes will take the week off of Christmas, depending on what <clears throat> day it falls mm-hmm. during the week. Mm-hmm. Um, no, me and Tracy try to go to Mexico in the summers, uh-huh. or. Her daughter lives in British Columbia. If we don't go to Mexico, we go to Canada. Oh, that's wow. I've been to British Columbia. That's so, a gorgeous place. She lives in the Okanagan Valley up there, and um, that it's the land of 20-mile lakes. Yes. She yes. lives on the side of a hill, and you look down the hills to the lakes and stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it would be a hunter's paradise, you know, if you could take guns to Canada. Right. Um, <laughs> say they ain't hunting. Um, right. The, no. um, <laughs> they, have, uh, they have quail that are probably 20 inches tall. They're huge. Because nobody's hunting. No. Nobody's and they're hunting. not scared of you. Yeah. How yeah. did she end up there? Uh, found love on the internet. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's been up there so long that we have a 10-year-old grandson. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So he's Canadian. Yes. Born and raised Canadian. Born and raised Canadian. Okay. Born and raised Canadian. Oh, wow. So. Does he do the eh when he talks? He he is um, autistic. Mm-hmm. And very responsive, very smart, but it's also hard of hearing. Okay. So me and Tracy took classes to learn sign language. Oh wow. So. Oh wow. But now he has hearing aids. He can hear pretty well. We're Mima and Dida. Okay. I so, love that. Mima and Dida. Like so, that. and uh, but but most of the time we talk to him via Skype or something. Okay. Like that, so. Okay. That's cool. Have you ever been to Canada? Never. They, I, would I, used to, I remember thinking, okay, they're making fun of them. They, they don't really do it, but they yes, say, they hey, yes, they, they, they say it they, all the time. Really? You yes, want to go do. get something to eat, eh? You know, and they say, hey, all the time. And about is a boot. A boot, yes, exactly. It is. But it wh- is. Where she lives on the West Coast, it's not those snobby French people like it is in the center of the country. Vancouver. Vancouver, that, Toronto, yeah. Montreal. It's not yeah, that. You get, out on the West, you get out on the West Coast, it's uh, 
more German, Austrian. Well, yeah. and the people, you know, I go with Dwayne Kane. Dwayne will take people mm-hmm. up there. And it's funny he's never asked me to go. Uh, he will. I'm sure he will. <laughs> but uh, yes, he will. But he will. Uh, those people were Trump people. When we oh were yeah, there, you know, really? they are. Yeah, they're Trump people. They are. Yeah. My my daughter's in laws are like that. They said they hate Trudeau. Yeah, yeah oh, exactly. They hate that man. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, but they. Uh, <clears throat> We have friends. Me and Tracy, it's a, it's so weird how things happen in your life. We met a young man named Curtis Stanley and his friend Robert Jennings, and we met them at a Jackal concert at Gas Monkey Bar and Grill. Oh. Uh, I don't even know how many years ago now, but Curtis has a chicken farm called OK Fowl in Canada, in British Columbia, and he is literally 90 kilometers from our daughter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so. You know it's Canada when you're going... Uh kilometers when yeah. you throw kilometers that's out the, there. Jackal is the band that sings the the Lumberjack. Okay. So that's where he these plays guys. the chainsaw. Okay. That's these guys so, here? Yeah, that's the 80s. Oh, 80s, there you go. 80s, at that. 80s bangers. <laughs> so... Look at look at Jay popping stuff up on the, you're like calling audibles and stuff. Man, it's the Google Master. I know it. I know it. Okay, so now we get. To, I'm going to ask you some. You know, we ask a lot of the guests these these questions, so I want to kind of get to that. All right, uh, if you could have a superpower, what would you pick? You pick one superpower. Wow. Hmm. Know the lottery killers. <laughs> so you you could tell the future. Yeah, that would I be think yours. So. You can tell that, the I think that would be better. That's a good one. Mm, that That's a pretty good. good one. I always thought if I went back in time, I'm a big sports fan, so I know all the World Series and Super Bowl winners. So I just start betting away. The back to the future. Yeah, style. back to the future. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, well, I bet on games. You only need the lottery one night, one time. It's a billion dollar. Number, billion dollar lottery. I don't remember the lottery number. Yeah, but though. just get a newspaper from that day and come back. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, could do that. A billion yeah. dollars is a lot better than betting on a football game. That's true. That's true. That's, Russell's thought it through. Yeah, yeah. I haven't <laughs> thought it through as much. You know, he's already got a plan. I'm sorry, Autumn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what is something that you believe that nobody else probably believes and that you have tried to man, like, convince oh, man. Them? oh, my God. That I've tried to convince them? Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. You're wrong. you got to... You got to understand this, because you, you didn't know this. You had a podcast, yeah, and you said you had some big opinions on there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I want to get into some no, of those opinions. No, no. <laughs> Come on. No, we're not doing that. I have to go to Boots Burger tomorrow, and those opinions might not be their opinions. So, so I got a feeling that would not. Where hurt can we yourselves? find the podcast though? It's on Spotify. There's only okay. about five episodes. Okay. Of it, so. Okay. Right. And what's it called? It's called, in my opinion, eh, whatever. I think that the federal government is wagging the dog. I try to think that they're trying to distract you from your left hand while the right hand's patting you on the ass and calling you baby. <laughs> That's a great title. Um, but there, do you have anything out there that you're like, I really believe this, but nobody else will agree with me? Is there nothing that comes to mind? I'm not a huge conspiracy theory right, guy. Right. Um, I don't really know. So do you think uh, Oswald killed Kennedy? There was no. nothing... Absolutely. You think there's other people no, involved? No, I, don't, I think I don't think they did. I think I'm pretty sure there was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we, you could have asked the guy from the office while he was here. <laughs> he wouldn't tell us. No, I know. I know, he he told us. I know who you are, Rackley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, um, are you are you the age of the uh, the Oswald girls at Rockwell High School? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think. I w- I didn't gr- I didn't I wasn't born till '68. So okay. high school, I graduated in '87. I graduated two years after. So they were autumn. much, much. I think they were yeah. older than me. Yeah. 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 Um, I remember people telling me that they lived out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, but I, I don't believe I knew who they were. Cherie, I know, had them in a couple classes. I right. Think. And Cherie was eighty. Three, Eighty-three, yeah. 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 She was with. She was with. She knows who Big Wave Dave is. Um, <laughs> so, I think we all should know who Big Wave no, Dave is. No, no, no. I'm not going to out him like that. I'm not going to out him. I'm like going to research it. So, but, uh, <laughs> but no. I mean, yeah. I just think. So, what was Autumn like in high school? Do you remember Autumn in high school? No. Okay. Good. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I remember Autumn. As I asked that, I'm yeah. like, I don't know if I want to know. Don't tell me. Uh, she was a pretty girl. Uh-huh. Um, I remember that. Um, Skinny and tall. Skinny and tall. Yes. And uh, Lanky, mischievous. Curly hair. Yeah, she had the curly I, hair. Yes, I remember. I remember her, but I really didn't have. I didn't have any classes with her because, of course, they kept the grades separated back then. Right. So, That's right. That's you know, true. You know, she That's was true. in there with Minio and all those crazy people. Right. Um, I was. 
if when I was in high school, I was in a, we were clicked off by then, you know. Yeah. So I was in ag class. So I was with the. Oh, she went around all, all the all the hillbillies. Yeah, yeah she went. <laughs> and if I wasn't if I wasn't with all the if I wasn't with all the hillbillies, then I was probably with all the guys that were the outcasts at the back back there. So <laughs> she tells our kids like when we had to get them cars, you have to you know we're going to get you what we can. You're going to have to use an old you know cash out my old truck. But yet I come to find out that when she turned 16, Glenn bought her a 68 Mustang. I thought it was 67 Mustang. Brand new. Uh, well, oh, no, 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 it was 67. Yeah, yeah, yeah Autumn, you got a brand new 67 <laughs> Mustang in high school. <laughs> Jay said that. Yeah, Jay right. just said that. <laughs> but she was like, I don't want that. It's old. So he went and they sold it and he went and got him a, a, a Camaro. And so I'm like, okay, that's spoiled. That is so spoiled. You can't be bringing that up. And when the kids found out, yeah, it was it was off the charts. So what Camaro did you get, Berkeley? Uh, oh yeah, no, we did you not. Did? Oh, we okay. did not. We did <laughs> Sorry, Burke. Yeah, Berkeley did not get it. <laughs> did not get it. Okay, so uh, I always ask this: movies. What kind of movies do you like? I'd say. Probably about in the same classification that you guys are. I, if I see The Breakfast Club or Sixteen Candles, yeah. I'll stop and watch it. Yes, because of, qu- of stuff. course, any movie that's got that kind of catchphrase. Yes, mm-hmm. um, but probably I'd say some of my favorite movies are probably Indiana Jones movies. Okay, oh, those You're are right, great. Right so, there with me. That's so, why. I, why I, you know. Indiana Indiana Jones, it's on. If I'm flipping, which people don't flip anymore, but I still do. I'm in. I don't care where it's at. I'll stop and watch. I'll it. stop and watch you, it. You know, uh, one of the new movies that's out Caden might know this movie because it's new um, anything everywhere all at once okay I've heard about this I've heard about it and <clears throat> I feel like I think me and my wife watch it every time it's on is, is that good it's really yeah, good it's it a is. good movie it's I crazy movie. it's a crazy I'm, movie I'm really into the Star Wars movies oh, oh no yeah. the Star new ones you probably don't hang like on I don't like the new ones I saw oh, the, oh, the, old, I, the old ones I saw the first Star Wars when it came out my dad took me and my sister and we saw it at the movie theater in Terrell Texas <laughs> in 1977 the, the drive-in or no 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 the, the one downtown indoor. okay yeah see I remember going to see Star Wars in the theater and uh yeah we were, we were right there because yep. and when they say Star Wars like my son is all into all the Star Wars I can't keep up oh, with I all can. the other stuff. I can. You got you got it all yeah. down? Because I'll watch some of these new ones with them, oh. and he'll be like, no, 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 that's Han Solo's uncle's cousin. That, yeah, remember yeah. he did? I'm like, ah. Well, I, I a lot know. of the new ones are just cash grabs. They are. They, they are. are just cash grabs. And they're still good. They're, the main guy in charge of it, Dave Filoni, he worked with George Lucas. Yes. Okay. So he still has that care and yeah. that love. The, the best of the new ones, really, is none of the, none of the second – Three movies, right? The, the, the first three. The, that... the first movie is the prequel to A New Hope, and that's Rogue One. Yes, Rogue One was mm. the best. Was, of I the like new Rogue movie. One. Yep. Yeah, so. and Cash convinced me. I was like, Cash, I don't like these new ones. He goes, No, you'll like this one. You that's the like one it. where Han, uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca come back, right? In that no, movie. Rogue no, One. No, no, Rogue no, One no. is the one that leads into A New Hope. A the new last hope. Yes. scene like, is the last them. scene is yeah, exactly. But what's the one that? Okay, that's right. That's right. What's the one where? Uh, Solo and Chewbacca. That's episode that's seven. Seven. That's yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that. That oh. one's the only good one out of the th- the trilogy that they came because out of. everybody was back and it yeah. picked up the old storyline. Yeah, and that's when you find out that the idiot is Han Solo's son. Right. And, right. Right. You know the fake Darth Vader. Right. Uh-huh. So, right. Yeah. So yeah, I like that one, but it had the grittiness that the other ones yes. had. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, it and felt that's like why, that. because the other ones I didn't like other than that one because like the first three, you know, when they did the next three, mm-hmm. which were the pre. Equals. Which mm-hmm. were crap. They were horrible yeah. because it looked like all it was about was uh, let's just do all special effects and let's they go look crazy. like cartoons almost. Almost, yeah. and you're like, well, this doesn't make sense if it's before Star Wars. Why do they have more advanced stuff mm-hmm. than the guys that they're getting that they're leading up to? Yeah, yeah. it should have been filmed in the old style to yes. keep it with the other movies, to keep with but... the others and do the old special mm-hmm. effects. I know it'd been expensive, but you know what? We expect we, perfection. That's right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. So now, how, okay. how about music? Yeah. What about music? Music. Um, I like everything. Mm. I even like old rap. Do you really? Yeah. Like Sugar Hill Gang? Sugar Hill Gang. I had that cassette. (laughs) Cassette. Um, I like um, that song. I like song. I like Coolio. Wow. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Look um, at these guys. Gangster's Paradise. (laughs) I forgot about that. You know, Gangster's Paradise and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I like Snoop. Oh, yeah. So, I used to hate Snoop, and now Snoop's I really awesome. like him. Snoop's I old really music. like Snoop. Now. He's very Snoop, good. and and you know that that old music from you know right after we got out of high school, whenever him and Dre and all them were still together, that was pretty good yeah. rap. It's I don't like any of the new stuff. I don't like that method rap 
garbage that's out now. See, I could see this guy coming in for Booch Burger. Yeah, he would. Oh, he yeah. would love. He would absolutely Burger. do. Would it. you ever? <laughs> when they talk to him, like when they, he loves the NFL, you know, he loves sports. Yeah. He loves, yeah. And his guys, he's like, I love Tom Landry. He like he's mm-hmm. big into the old seventies. He's yeah. going to be yeah. an announcer yeah. for the Olympics. Is he really? No he way. Sure is. Oh, that's going to get a lot. Sure of You've seen him do the wildlife thing, right? When he does yes, the wildlife yes. deal with the snakes and stuff, it's one of the funniest <laughs> things ever. He is hilarious. But no, I I have started liking him. Uh, they had a deal where he hung out with Don Rickles just before Don Rickles passed away. And Don Rickles is one of my favorites. Okay. And he hangs out with Don Rickles, and it's outstanding with them two uh, going back and forth at each other. So I highly I'll, recommend I'll tell that. you the, the music that probably I know the most about. Um, when I was a kid, um, my grandparents on my mom's side, they owned a, a bakery and a donut shop over in Farmer's Branch. And, um, it was How called, many restaurants are in your family? Oh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, my grandmother made wedding cakes for some of the rich people back in the day. Okay. And um, but they own Mr. K's Bakery and Mr. K's Donuts. And uh, <laughs> but I grew up. My grand my my papa my papa Steve was Greek, and um, he listened to the uh, crooners. It was Dean Martin. It was yes. Frank Sinatra. So I grew up listening to that, and, and I still love them to this day. Yes. But probably the music that I listen to the most because I grew up in that era is probably hair bands and Metallica and stuff oh, like really? that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I, even today, if I'm in a mood, you, you got to go back to heavy, that okay. old heavy metal. Right. So That's funny. I mean, I remember that, but I don't go back to it that often. Oh, my gosh. So your grandfather was Greek, is that my, my On my mom's side. On your mom's yeah. side. Yeah. Her, it was her stepdad, actually, but my pop Steve... Um, they were from Greece, and uh, his father and mother lived here, and that was my papa and my yaya. Wow. And um, hmm. they they lived one block over from where my grandparents lived, and they had a, a swimming pool in their backyard that was almost Olympic size. Really? But it was, spoke- a, it was a little neighborhood that was nondescript. You wouldn't even know that pool was in that backyard. <laughs> they How speak far? Greek? Yes. They do. Oh, my, my yaya never, almost never spoke English. How about the food? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, she made homemade baklava every year at oh, Christmas. Yeah. And it takes it takes a long time to make it. Mm. My sister makes it. My sister I don't think I've ever it. had baklava. I've oh, heard of it. Good. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. And what, and you can get it done it? with it's walnuts, pecans, or pistachio. And layers a of phyllo dough. And phyllo dough is as thin as tissue paper. Okay. And it's just layer upon layer upon layer. And I believe it's honey, mm-hmm. or, or something. Wow. Or, and, and then it's walnuts and it's all kinds of stuff. Cinnamon, sugar, all kinds. So it's of like stuff. a dessert. It is. Yes. Okay. All right. You can get it at Onassis. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Mm. See, I've never uh, had it. I need to get that. I've always heard about it. It's good. I've never had it. Mm. How far back does your family go here in Rockwall? I mean, do you, have y'all... Um, I mean, obviously, we're back my, in the 1800s. My great-grandfather, <laughs> um, I believe that's where we go back to, Is my on my grandmother's side, is my great-great-grandfather, Oscar Horton. Um, so I would say at least probably around the turn of the century. Okay. Late 1800s, early okay. 1900s. Right Very there. cool. So That's cool. Um, and you were born... In Rockwell 68. or in Dallas? I was or? born Memorial Hospital in Garland. In Garland, that's okay. where I was Which born. is now a VA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because so. that's the thing I always figured out about a lot of Rockwell people is most of them weren't born here. There was nowhere well, here to well, be born. Well, that's not true. Uh huh. That's not true. My my uncle David was born at home. Was it? Well, uh, yeah. The, the home the, birth. The home people. Those, yeah. No, no. Sherman delivered him. Okay. Really. Sherman Sparks delivered really? him. Really. This is the story he tells about it, and I'll tell this story. I hope I get it right. <laughs> he says that. My grandmother went into labor, and Sherman was out of town. He was at a football game, I think, in Dallas or Garland or somewhere. And they called, got a hold of him, and he told the midwife, hold her legs together till I get there. <laughs> that was the official so, medical advice, right? <laughs> and he, Dave, my Uncle David always says, he said, that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> I got held in. So, that is great. So, um, well, you've seen so many changes, obviously. Oh, yeah. Global, like yeah. so many people have. What? What what are some good things and some of the things you're not so happy with around here? <laughs> and be, be, remember, no censorship here. You That's right. Tell Say us what, what you're thinking. It's too many people from out of state here. Okay. There's way too many people trying to California, this Texas, and I'm not happy about it. Mm-hmm. You want to you want to come here and live? Cool. You abide by our way of living. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't try to bring your way of living here. Right. Um, happy? Oh, I'm not happy. Very happy with any of it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Boots Burger is, with the exception of some of us, uh, Glenn and Glenn and Autumn and you guys included, um, there's not much rock wall left. 
Mm-hmm. Even in my time here, I'm seeing that, you know, mm-hmm. and it's and it, and it happens. But I, I go back to, you know, my town I grew up in is still 6,000. It was 6,000 when I grew up there, and it's still 6,000. Really? And it hadn't really changed much. I mean, yeah. it has, you know, different things. but Still a small town. Still a small town. But here, I remember when I first moved here, I mean, I would compare growing up in small towns, and it was comparable. Mm-hmm. It's not comparable anymore. Uh-huh. Rockwell has just ballooned up, and a lot of it's good. I think a lot of it's good. I remember when I first moved here, I'm like, man, I wish we had a restaurant to go to. You did? Other than Burt's <laughs> Boots. <laughs> other than Boots. But on ah. Sunday, I had to go somewhere on Sunday. And you, so, you had that too, though? <laughs> somewhere you could sit and eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on Sunday, oh, let's see, where did we go on Sundays? I'm trying to the, think. The back. Glaze? Remember the Glaze? Yeah. I think we probably... I was trying to think. My grandfather and them always, not my papa boots, but on my mom's side, they always went to the pit grill on Kingsley. Okay. Um, uh, in Garland? In Garland. Yeah. And because uh, my grandfather always got liver and onions. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and, I don't, and, I don't, and, I don't mean, and I don't mean liver and onions like fried liver and onions <laughs> at White's Cafeteria. I'm talking about <laughs> black liver. Just. <laughs> So I, I grew up in, in Rollette. Right. But every Sunday after church, we'd come over, and it was a chicken place. Grandma's. 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 Yeah. yeah, that was, the, that was yeah. The, every Sunday. That was what I remember mean, when I got here. That yeah. was Jay and Jeff Jones's mom okay. and dad. So. Yeah, Grandma's was good. Where was that? That uh, was Sabrina's Flower Shop. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My stepbrother worked there when he was a teenager. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. his wife, his wife is uh, Jana Ralston. She's... Um, let me see if I can figure it out. She's she's a cousin to Terry Garrett. I oh, believe. is she? Okay, I believe All that's right. right. Jana, right. if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, She'll but, let you know. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. The, grandma's chicken. Grandma's fried chicken. And they had the had, best yeast rolls. Yes, that's all what I remember. And I also oh. remember, didn't they have um, uh, gizzards? Didn't the they make chicken gizzard? livers and gizzards? Yeah, mm-hmm. gizzards. Yeah. I remember uh, Autumn's granddad always wanted gizzards. <laughs> and My then, wife is a liver livers. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And then also, we talked about Shirey's. I remember eating Shirey's, Shirey's oh, a lot. Let me tell you a story about that. Before it was Shirey's, it was Maureen Heath's beauty salon. It was Eddie Heath's mother's beauty salon. I didn't know that. And my great aunt <laughs> worked there and swept the floors, swept, swept, the, swept the hair off the floors and took care of uh, uh, Chad. Yep, that's who it was. That is funny. My, mem- my memory's not there. No, I'm, uh, mine's gone too. Chad... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's who it was. That was Chad. That's that's Chad. Was. We'll look it up later. We can edit that back in. We'll, we'll find the name and we'll have a really fantastic bad edit. It's great, it's great to get old. Uh, yeah, man. Love, everything's great. Well, and then, and uh, where else? I remember Jay always wanted to go to Glaze. That was the buffet place over there that used to then became Bell's or whatever. It was over there by that in that oh, area over there. Okay. And then. No, uh, back, back then it might have been Burke's Barn. Oh, I remember that too. Yeah. yeah K-Bobs. Was, K-Bobs. 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 Yes. Yes. Yes, and that was that was the place to go. K Bob's was sets where the Super Eight Motel is. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Rock, and then it was Rock, like Wall Inn. Yeah, but and then, then it became like brownies, Donna's. brownies, brownies, and it okay. was it was uh, Crystal Pinnell. Crystal Pinnell owned it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm with my father in law now. That's all we do is with him and Autumn get together. It's all about the remember so and so. Whatever happened to, you know, and yeah, they, the, they the sad thing back. is that you start saying you know, they're, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah. So, they're so dead. growing up in this town, high school, all of that, it, it really had that old school, small town. You knew everybody. Yes. And you were related to half of them. Either, <laughs> either, either actually related or related through marriage, too. Well, yeah. that's like. I was joking. That's why Autumn married me. She couldn't marry anybody in town. She would have been illegal. Yeah, she true. was kidding everybody. That's very true. And now talk about, Autumn has talked about this and a number of others. The homecoming parade used to go through the square. Around the square. Around the square. Oh. And the jail was up. And you could hear them yelling. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Anytime. Kojak was the jailer. Okay. Yeah. He rode a mo- Kojak. That sounds like a jailer. He, he rode a motorcycle and was bald, and that's why they called him Kojak. <laughs> I don't know. I never knew his real name. He was just Kojak to you. So we had Kojak. We had Tarzan running the yep, restaurant. Yep. Um, the Peoples, Doswell Peoples. Yes. His brother Otha Jean, and a group of the people that were went to Free Methodist Church and other places, of course. But they, I don't remember the trailer, but I do remember them. Remember a little bit of this. They would pull a flatbed trailer up on the square at the courthouse, and they would get together on Friday or Saturday nights, and they would play music. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yeah, and Otha Jean's, Jean's still alive. He lives out close to Roy City somewhere, and him and his wife, 
actually sang at uh, Doswell's wife's funeral. Really? Yeah. Mm. And we talked about this before we went on the air. I, my memory when I first got here too was uh, Paulette was the county clerk. So she did all the, the all the votes. all the vote and all the count, all the number counting, mm-hmm. and then Glenn wrote all the results yep. on the chalkboard. I remember that was one of the first things I saw when yep. I was here. He just and everybody gathered and hung out. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And on cool. where the book club cafe is yep. now, that was the M and R grocery. That's right. And uh, my when I was little, my mom would give it. You would get a list, and you would go <laughs> there, and you would give it to Paul, and uh, Paul would fill it out, and then you would come back, and he would give you a receipt, and your mom would go and pay the bill once a month. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> on the opposite side of the square where community barbecue was mm-hmm. um community barbecue and the doors next door that was western auto and ace hardware uh-huh. they wow. were one thing yeah and um that was wayne rogers mike rogers yes. dad yes um and you could get lawnmowers, you could get your tires fixed, and mm-hmm. you could get hardware all in one building. I think all little towns had the Western <laughs> Auto Ace Hardware and, thing and, and a Dairy Queen. My wife's Dairy grandmother Queen. worked for Wayne Rogers. Really? Iris Iris worked for Wayne Rogers. Her <laughs> grandfather, George, worked for Lee Mitchell at Mitchell's Hardware. And her grandfather her, her grandfather put my first bicycle together. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I also remember, I don't remember, I wasn't around here, but I, I, like we talked about, you had those photos you sent, and I was uh, blessed enough to work with the, uh, the Historical Foundation. And they we lost a lot of photos when the Chronicle was here. Mm-hmm. Remember when they had the Mary Rockwell C. Chronicle? And Jane Bounds. Yeah, and Jane Bounds. And uh, something happened where a lot of the photos they had got lost. I think the Dallas Morning News bought them or something. Anyway, we oh. lost. So they had to go and search uh, a lot of people and say, we, we, can you give us any photos? And if they would, they'd get them to me and I'd scan them and then we'd give them back. And they had an archive at the Historical Foundation. And so a lot of the photos you sent that we just watched, I'd seen, did not know it was your family, right. you know, your kin in there. But the, the thing I, uh, that amazes me is where uh, Pier 101 is, was the Ford dealership uh, right there no. at one point. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. It was like the... Yeah, Pier 101 was Ford dealership yeah. and a tractor dealership. And tra- yes, exactly. Yeah. And you don't think of that place as like, they're selling That was also there. the tax assessor's office. It was, yeah, wow. exactly. So. Now, y'all take a look at this. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Speaking That's of the histor- yeah, Texas Historical this Commission. Just, this just happened. Uh, just a few weeks ago. So this is Texas Treasure Business Award. Yeah, this there's only two businesses in Rockwell that have this award from the Texas Historical Commission, and it's us and Sparks's Clinic. Wow, really? That's it. That's that is great. That's so we got it. Bob Hall, yep. Justin Holland. Who's yeah. this on the right? These are the 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 state people, I believe. Mark wow. Wolf and uh, John John Nall. Oh, the commit the, with the yeah. Texas Historical. Yeah. That is great. Um, and, great I, is that? and and I'll tell you, Justin and Mark Russo worked hard to get that put together that's great and and mark mark always tells us you know mark's a great guy mm-hmm. um he always tells us he says more to come guys more to come uh, love so that. he's always yeah. working on mark something. speaking of somebody that has moved here and then been a big part of things is mark russo mark, he mark has is, worked yeah. hard he's yeah. a great guy yeah. and he loves this town yeah, mark, he does. mark married me and my wife did he really in miss plagan's wow. backyard <laughs> <laughs> and um so it, it just goes to show it doesn't matter how long it's been or anything. I'm going to, I should, I'm, I got a story. Maybe, maybe. Um, Remember, we can edit if we have okay. to. Okay. Uh, Lee will probably kill me for it, but it's that's okay. Um, we got married in her backyard. Mark Russo was wearing a Texas flag button-up shirt, and um, we only had four people at our wedding. Mm-hmm. And Lee, Lee was one of them, and um, Mrs. Mills was there. Mm-hmm. Um, but... We were going to get it done. We were going to have our wedding at the gazebo at Harry Myers Park. And she said, you got to put in for that ahead of time, blah, blah, blah. She said, why don't you just do it in my backyard? Mm-hmm. She has a gazebo. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and uh, she has a – her grandkids used to come to the house every year. Mm-hmm. And they did a thing in the summertime called Camp Gibby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they would try to schedule Camp Gibby around the July 4th holiday when we would – be closed mm-hmm. and because the kids all wanted burgers right right and right mrs c mr c clarence was clarence was awesome he was the best he was the most fabulous yes. man in the world <laughs> except on saturdays if a and awesome. yes so, there's no one to be around easier him. going guy than yeah clarence. yeah so he was he was a great person that, he would that have the whole, deal did you ever go to the deal uh, in his garage when they would uh make sausage and all that stuff i like don't poker i don't believe so but i remember people I, I talking about did that. it that so. was a pretty cool little gig there but, too. but they're, they're great people and you know when you can look back through your life and you've known people and you don't realize that you've known people as long as you have and you look back and it's 45 years mm-hmm. 50 yeah. years mm-hmm. and i'm like 
dude, I'm only 55 years old, and I've known those people for 45 yep. years. Yep, yep, yep. So that's crazy. True, it is community. very crazy. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. You know, we, we sit here and we look about uh, at all this stuff, and uh, I still think of me as a new guy here in Rockwell, and it's been 32 years now. Mm-hmm. And, and and so bless. I've lived here longer than any place I've ever lived. And uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but it is. It's a great. But the, that's what's great about this place, though, is that I don't know of anybody that comes here and then has said, "Oh man, I got to find some other place." And right. There, there's, right. It's always like, "Yeah, I got to stay. I got to. I got to stay here." It, yeah. it, it. It. I think Rockwall's done so well as much as it's grown, as best as it's can, as it has has tried, and a lot of our leaders have done it to keep the small town as best they can, mm-hmm. the small town atmosphere here. And I think it's impossible to keep a lot of it because of all the growth. Too much growth. Uh, yeah, I agree. But things like Boots Burgers and, and all that is is what keeps us, you know, yeah. that, that town uh, mentality. I think the football games still, you know, mm-hmm. do that yep. and, and all that. And and so uh, even with Heath coming into play and stuff, I think that's been a, a, a really good thing to create a rivalry and, mm-hmm. and, and have everybody go right. back and forth. and. And all that. You asked me if there was anything I could change. I just thought of something when you said okay. that. Rockwell is always the home team. Uh, Not Heath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want Heath I wouldn't to be, argue with that. If you, when he, <laughs> want, if you want Heath to be the home team, Build a stadium. <laughs> Build a stadium out there. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Right. I am not a hawk. <laughs> Never going to be a hawk. We ever. have we have backed up kids in different things through the years. Um, with their cheerleading and their drill yeah, team sure. and things like that, but never going to be a hawk. Well, you know, we had Greg Harvey here, the baseball head coach of the Hawks, and he admitted that he was tentative about coming out here because he's like, I'm surrounded by yellow jackets. <laughs> what and it worked out great. I love right. Greg, and I didn't know yeah. Greg that well until he came out here, but it worked great. And I yeah. uh, love that, you know, we, we know each other better and stuff. But, but it, I think, and we kind of talked about it on that one, and we talked about it with Rodney and Trey, you know, when I found out Rodney was going to be going to Heath, uh, I found out way before a lot of people did, I think. And I went over to their house, and uh, they were getting ready to go somewhere. And I said, uh, what's happening? She goes, oh, we're getting ready to head to Dallas. And I said, oh, you're not heading to Heath? I thought you'd be heading to Heath. <laughs> and she smiled, and she, Fran just goes, well, why would we be going to Heath? I go, why would you be going to why Heath? Why would you ever? And Rodney go? walks in with that smile on his face, and he goes, what are you talking about? And I'm like, dude, you know what I'm talking about? And then he does this. It's going to be fun. <laughs> It'll be fun. And, you know, it has been, to be honest. You know, it, it, it still bothers me. I know it bothers yeah, it you. It bothers me. Yeah. But, but the rivalry, it's a... But you it cannot really have, adds some spice to it. I, I know they're different families and everything, but you cannot have the last name Webb and not be a yellow jacket. <laughs> no, try it. Right. Oh, what Rodney man. does, too, is he acts like that, you know, it's now Cameron Webb Field, you know? Yeah. He acts oh. like it's after him. It's yeah. He acts it's like it's his. Settle down. <laughs> I will make a phone call. That's right. I will make a phone call. <laughs> All right, we've got a super fan here that has some questions for you. Amy yeah. Williams Lemoyne, do you know her? I do know her. Okay. We were born she's, on the same day. Were you? Yeah. Well, she's got a few questions. Some you may have answered. Uh, she starts out with. We already asked about the, the generation. Next generation. Yeah. She wants to make sure that Boots Burger ain't going to her. Uh, greatest memories of growing up in Boots Burgers? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Um, probably just it, the growing up with it and always being part of it and. And people going, your grandparents own Boots Burger, or you know, your Boots Burger, your family's Boots Burger, and I'd never think about it. Yeah. I still, even now, I'm like, dude, we just make hamburgers. It's not that <laughs> nah, big a deal. That. It's not that big a deal. <laughs> and um, pr- probably, you know, I, I, I have luckily, I was 10 years old when my grandfather passed away, so I do have some good memories of my grandfather. That's mm-hmm. good. And uh, I have memories of him playing dominoes with his friends and. Going in the going in his pickup truck and going out to uh, Chuck Laughlin's bait shop, which used to sit beside the Sonic, out there. Uh-huh. The, the the light pole is still in that field, that empty little lot. Right, right. There's still a light pole that stands up in that tree, and that hung over the awning to Chuck Laughlin's bait that shop. The snow cone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Long before you were here. <laughs> um, um, no, but he would get me a Coke and a candy bar and set me on the front porch, and I had to sit outside. Yeah. Because the men were talking on the inside. Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. So yeah. that's probably some of my favorite memories. I love yeah. So. I thought this was good. She says, one thing you would change about Boots Burger. Not one could. damn thing. <laughs> I love it. I knew you were going to say that, <laughs> Not too. Not one damn thing. <laughs> you know, I'm a big egg guy. I like eggs on things. Yeah, well, you and Tracy can go eat some <laughs> 
That's never going to happen. <laughs> so Tracy wants an egg on Tracy there? Tracy likes eggs on How about an avocado? An no, avocado burger. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go to California. <laughs> With some sourdough. Yeah, yeah, some Christmas. avocado. Autumn when he gets home. <laughs> Swiss cheese. I mean, you only got you only have one kind of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the only kind you're going to get. That's it. Take it or leave. How great is I that? I love it. Oh, man, that is so cool. Okay, so uh, you talked about being in high school. What did you do in high school? I mean, like you said you played football up through junior, junior, junior high. high right? Junior yeah. high. I was just too little. My freshman year in high school, I was 4 foot 11, 91 pounds. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. And uh, That's, that's sm- not good for football. There was only one other small person in our, two other small people in our whole class, me and Norman Melendez and Pam Ireland. <laughs> We were all about the same time, just little. And when you hit high school, you graduated in 87, right? Mm-hmm. Last time that Rockwell, I believe, went to the well, they state went to the semifinals. State, yeah, state semifinals. That was Jason Jones was quarterback, I believe. Okay. okay. In 87? No, I don't know if it was 87. Oh. It was in the 80s. Yeah. Well, 87, I think they did, they did make the state championship in 87, but lost. Lost. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Jason's back in town now. He could probably light you up and right, let right. you know for sure. Right. Um, I remember that. We went to Waco one year in the playoffs and set in a pounding rainstorm. Right, right. It was just terrible. We went to Brownwood one year and uh-huh. had a chance to win the game, and I believe we fumbled Yes, and right at the end of the game. Great story with that one, I think. I'm trying to remember uh, Brad Lamberth. I think Brad Lamberth was – did he play for Rockwall? I don't – I don't remember. I don't anyway, know. I think he played, and then the cheerleader for Brownwood – uh, is he ends up marrying, and so yep. they, they really? yeah, yep. yeah, something like that. That's There's something like that. One of my great... one of my memories from playing in middle school, we had Coach Ham, Coach Eubanks. I said Coach Ham, Coach Eubanks, Coach Davis, Coach King. I, 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 there were more than that, but anyway, um, we played Terrell mm-hmm. in Terrell one year, and that game deteriorated into such a nightmare that we were running for the buses they were throwing stuff at the buses it was terrible I don't, terrell was a pretty good rival man. yeah yeah and you know um jamie fox is right around the same age yes as yes so yes oh. he played there yeah he yeah. played in terrell yeah so um so he may have been right around the same time i'm not yeah. real sure within a year or two i so. think 87 yeah was the year i think they they played in college station yeah i think i think yeah so. and they played so. uh, brownwood i believe or it may have been orange we, I was trying west to... orange dark it could have been that i can't remember i'm going blank mm. and yeah, people that, are going to correct me yeah I know. that's yeah we'll, four, we'll 40 years that. ago so yeah <laughs> but but you know it's just cool to have these the these things that you know the story about killer you know yeah. and and everybody that was involved and and if you go to the 63 uh, championship, which is obviously a long time ago, it's before any of our time. But there's photos and things, and you see the photos of people getting on a train to go down to Waco to go watch that. You know, they played at Floyd Casey, I think, uh, for that one. And yeah, Jackie Anderson. Jackie Anderson uh, yeah. kicks the extra point kicks for the, the extra win. Point for the win. Yeah, exactly. His br- his brother Jerry still comes and gets burgers. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, we see him once a week. Love so. that. Love that. Yeah, that's what's great about this place, man. And you're, and Boots Burgers is the middle of it. And we're generations. I mean, we're literally generations. Ursula and Don Rako eat burgers at Boots Burger for years and years. <laughs> and now David, David's kids, yes. David's brothers, David's cousins, David's nephews, everybody eats there mm-hmm. you know we're four generations deep in the Rayco family i so. love that yeah Gosh. the Rakos are, are good friends of ours i was with david last night we're on the bond committee and so mm-hmm. we're sitting there and and the great thing about it is we're on the bond committee it's a serious deal but somebody made some little i'm going to mention names and i love that i have myself the head coach of heath which is Rock, uh, rodney mm-hmm. webb and then david Rayco, a district judge and a guy makes a mistake saying something and we just jumped on him like just started kicking him around like fun you know and i love that you can still have that you know and that you can still do those kind of things and it was great and, and it was fun but i the Rakos, you know obviously they have a, a you know a big she was part. my fourth grade teacher oh really Rayco wow. was my fourth grade teacher <laughs> so yeah but in grade school did you have maureen kane i you? had miss kane in the first or second grade i had miss reinhardt in third grade uh-huh. i had miss pullins in first grade and i had miss irving in kindergarten <sighs> That's so good. So all of the teachers that the schools are named going, after. You were naming off all the schools right, right there. <laughs> well, Autumn always talked about Miss Kane, and boy, Miss Kane would Ms. get Kane, on to you. Um, Maureen and Ted were friends of my grandmother, of course, right. of course. Um, I remember one of the fanciest gifts I got, and it's, you know, I still think about it. It's one of those things that I lost, and I don't know 
whatever happened to it. When I graduated high school, Ted Kane Ted Kane gave me a set of cross pins, silver cross pins, and I held on to them forever. And I don't know where they lost, but you know that was a memory of mine. Yeah. And, mm. and all of the, uh, as my am great great aunt used to say, she said all of those line men up on the square. Uh, my uncle Roy we would walk in the summertime and we would go up and I would get a haircut at James Mayo's hair uh, at Barbershop, which uh-huh. was City Barbershop in Maureen right. and then we're there. Right. And then we would go from there up to Rockwall Drug, which is where Zanata's is at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all the old men, before everything got going in the morning, would meet in the back corner of that drugstore, which was Earl Slaughter's. And Jackie Willis was his pharmacist and Richard when he was a kid. And all of the old men would sit in the back corner. They had a coffee maker and coffee cups, and everybody would sit there and drink coffee in the morning. It would be Tarzan and my Uncle Roy and uh, J.D. Payne and Mr. Birch and Wayne Rogers and all of them. They'd sit there and drink coffee. And I would sit up in the front of the store reading comic books. <laughs> and then we would go from there and go across the street and go see Lee Mitchell at Mitchell's Hardware. Uh-huh. And we would walk up and see Wayne Rogers and Mike at ace hardware and then we would finish the day off by going up to the corner to paint furniture and seeing jd paint in there yeah yeah that was an every single day in the summertime deal that That is awesome and And ted had the spot there. ted had the spot which is over by book club cafe exactly and now we have like a little rest area there for it where they have ted's name up there yeah yeah. so that's Dwayne's dad that's his dad Uh dad. and then maureen's his mom Mm. and uh and 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 great people they are great great Mm. Ted, yeah. Ted and Maureen, Maureen was, like I said, she was either my second or third grade teacher, and I don't remember which. Um, but I have vivid memories of her in, in elementary school. Do you remember uh, Nan Smart? Yeah. Okay. Nanaline? Yeah. Yep. I, uh, Autumn and I get engaged, and so Autumn tells her, hey, we got to go, uh, we got to go see Nan. I'm like, who's Nan? Well, she's, you know, we got to get her, basically her approval. Mm-hmm. So she lived in that house, a pretty house. It's right across the street from First Baptist. Mm-hmm. Right it was there. a photography place. It yeah, was it became oh, a yeah. photography place yeah. for a while. Has the columns in the yeah. front. Yeah, yeah. So we go there, and and Nan's there, and and she's like, "Well, all right." Uh, and she goes, "This is the man you're going to marry?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she goes, "All right, Autumn, you go find something to do." And she sat me down and basically <laughs> quizzed interview? me. And her first thing was, "Who are your people?" And I was like, who are my people? And she's like, yeah, who are your people? And I'm like, I'm, what am I, Moses? I don't know who my people are. And I had to tell her where I was from and all that. But basically, it was Nan that had to, I had to run the gauntlet of Nan to make sure you everything was good. had to make it through. Yeah. Yeah. Danaline, whenever I was a teenager, I think, I think we were, we were involved in city government. We were trying to, like, be something to do with precinct chairs or something like that. She was trying to teach us that. And uh, she could be... Pretty co- pretty coarse. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. You know, you you walked the line with Nanaline because she <laughs> cracked pretty strong one. She did. So it was her way or the highway. It was, she man. absolutely was. But if she liked you, she liked you. Exactly, and that's it, what happened. I, Autumn was like, "Does she like it?" I go, "I think so." Yeah, because it, it, it was pretty much. I think Autumn was like, "I can't marry you if, if the, it doesn't go well with Nan." Yeah, Nan was something else. So. Oh, and that's what makes this place so great, yeah. you know. And that's why we got to find somebody to take over Boots Burgers at some mm. point. Now, y'all ain't ever going to die, so maybe we don't yeah. have to worry about it. That's well, well, if that deal goes through, you know that deal with the devil goes through. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or the ten million dollar offer. <laughs> oh man! So, do you watch anything on? I was. I want to start asking this. What are you watching on Netflix and all that? Do you watch any of those shows? Like, do you watch a series? Everybody's My always wife. got a series. My wife. Never watched it, but she's watching Game of Thrones right now. Wow. Um, I love that. Now, did I, you watch it? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm watching it sporadically with her, so I know a few of the names. Um, Netflix. I watched Somebody Feed Phil. Oh, I haven't seen that. That's an awesome series. It's a food <laughs> show on Netflix. Mm. Um, he wrote, he created Everybody Loves Raymond. Okay, which I love that it's show. a Jewish man. Uh-huh. And uh, his wife is the lady who was Robert's wife on Everybody's Love Story. Okay, okay. And I love that show. Okay. He is the goofiest, craziest Jewish man in the whole wide world. Oh, life. I know him. I know him. Yeah. So, gotta... <laughs> I see that guy. Yeah. Yeah. He, it's like five, four or five seasons long, and he always ends every episode up until the time that his mom and dad died doing a joke for Max. 
<laughs> and I love that show. That, okay. that show right it. there, and I've seen every episode of every Anthony Bourdain series that there's oh, ever been. Really? Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you. Are you drawn to food shows because of what Anthony you do? Anthony Bourdain, I like him. I do, too. I thought he was great. Yeah, Guy Fieri can yeah. go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like him at all. Well, so. you know, we used to watch a lot of the Food Channel back in the day, and now it just seems like it's off the rails. Well, it's all the processed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all processed, media-driven, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. sanitized TV. Now. Sanitized, and also, let's go with another crazy... Uh, it's a now gimmick. You're gonna, yeah, it, exactly. There's a, a gimmick. gimmick. Now, the latest one I saw advertised that they got to cook for 24 hours straight or something. Right. And so you're like, ah, this is starting to go go. We bad. have a lot of characters that come to Boots Burger, you know, and you can't... You can't miss these people we, we've become friends with them over the years because they show up so much and you just get to know everybody you mm-hmm. i we always say we don't may not know your name but we know what you eat yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. and um we've got a friend and his wife and uh, dana johnson and terry come often and we've got to be good friends with them over the years and uh he's a different kind of cat <laughs> he's a 60 something year old bodybuilder muay thai guy and um but his, his, him and his wife are two of the most wonderful people. They think about us all the time. We think about them all the time. And they always show up when you think you haven't seen them in a while. And then they'll, boom, there they are. Yeah. And mm-hmm. those are the kind of people that you don't forget when you yeah. have a place like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you remember what they eat. And I always pick on them. So when he gets a double, she gets a single, I always write on the top of their burgers. I never call them by their name. I never write what's on their burger. I'll put Ricky and Lucy, Dan and Rosie, <laughs> something like that on their burgers all the time. And he always gets online and he says, had the best sushi at Boots Burger today. So, you know, That's pretty good. It's the kind of people you remember. Yeah. It's the yeah, kind of people good. you remember. So, oh, Man, this is good. I enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah. A lot of history there. That's yeah. A ton, so much history. A ton. I mean, if y'all ever do a history thing, you should get like maybe um, – I'll come back, but yeah, you should we'll definitely get, get you. You get Lee to come in, before mm-hmm. you know. I'm getting my father-in-law. He's get, get got Glenn. It. Yeah, he's got um, it all. You know, and there there are a few people we. I bet mean, between me and Lee and you, and Glenn, and a couple other people that we could probably maybe drag in. Well, here. we're thinking about we want to do this, and we'll just go ahead and tell people. And and uh, you know, Glenn goes and we always call him the coffee shop guys. Yep. They go to go Roses. To Huh? Yeah, they go to Chisholm. Go to yeah, Chisholm. they go out there. They also go to Roses. You know, they go twice a day. You know, I think morning and afternoon. Morning and afternoon. <laughs> but I want, and I said we need to make that one of our podcasts where we go out there and we just sit the microphone out and there let him go. and let him go. Because Jackie yeah. Pullen, I think, yep. is out there, and yep. and uh, just let him go. Oliver. Uh, yeah, yeah. And and I remember somebody said, "Well, what are you going to ask him?" And I said, "What am I going to ask?" Not going to ask him anything. But yeah, I said <laughs> I could start out with, "What do you think about these transgenders?" and just sit back. Because That's they're it. going to go for an hour, that you know, it. It just don't even have to worry about it. And if you and if you happen to get a word in age, well, just give them a new topic, <laughs> right? And right. Let them, let what do you think go. of the president? Yeah. Oh <laughs> my God! Yeah. Don't do that. Good Lord. I, but that would be great. But I, I, I'm always fascinated by the history of Rockwall, and you know, anywhere you live, you want to know oh, the past and 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 knowing all these people yourself, and and you know, and all. Like when I first moved here, and I remember one day we. You know, I'm like uh, trying to figure. We had something wrong with our sink or something, so I'm looking in the phone book. Like I get a plumber, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I go, "I, I got to find a plumber." We got to. She goes, "We're calling Bob." You know, I don't, I don't understand what you're looking at. I'm like, why do we even have this? Why do we even have a phone There's book? No if need we're, for a, it's like, the yellow you know, pages. Yeah, yeah, that's just like, you. Just tell yeah. me who I'm supposed to call. And when I was a kid, it was Mr. Muncie. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, he lived right down the street from Boots Burger, <laughs> and. Um, Mr. Muncie was the the plumber. That's who you called. I mean, that, that's. I remember being a kid living on Kaufman Street, and on the weekends we had milk delivered. Squeaky Johnson delivered milk. Yeah. On a boarding truck. <laughs> so, you know, he'd pick your newspaper up out of the yard, put it with your milk, set it on the front porch, and that's great. That's so. great. So, and that's why we we live off the square, and we love that little bit of being able to just to walk to the square, even though it's yeah. all different. Mm-hmm. You know, it's still a cool thing to walk there. I like what they've done. Because when I first moved here, the square was kind of getting run down a little mm-hmm. bit. You know, and empty. all that. Huh? It, was it was empty. empty. It was empty. It was, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when they got it all fixed up, and they've done a good job. Them, they've done a great job. Now we're now we're McKinney. So. <laughs> 
I don't think we need another ladies' boutique. No, we, we don't do need that. that. No. We don't need that. I, w- I was always of the mind that we should have turned it into the west end of Rockwell County. I, that's a not bad idea. That way we had music venues. Right, right. That would be right. great to have but, some music. you know, they only let you stay open till 11 in mm-hmm. Rockwell, so mm-hmm. you can't do that. Well, so. and then I wish we'd, I know we'd have to meet people, but I think one of our jails should still be at the top of the courthouse. I think they ought to turn it into a diner. Did they make a diner up there? Oh, wow. Have call you it, been up there lately? Call it the Jailhouse Cafe. Are, they, like are the jails still there? Oh, yeah. Intact? Yeah, it's oh, still yeah. pink. Still pink. They got all the writing. The graffiti's still on there. Uh-huh. Paul Atwood, when she was county clerk, she would you know, let's go up there and go look at it oh, and stuff. Cool. And, and that was the other thing, too, when I first got here, was she her office was down in the, you know. In the basement. In the basement of mm-hmm. the courthouse. And literally, when somebody had they had to look something up, she's pulling out them big old books and just flopping over the big pages. <laughs> yeah. You know, they were like, that. yeah. Cool. And I was like, holy cow, this is great. And then we had the big, uh, had a big storm and it flooded mm-hmm. and then they end up moving over to the government yeah there center. were a lot of for a lot of years when you would walk up to the jail after the jail was gone you could go into the bailiff's room next door to the jail and there were books just sitting on shelves like they'd been supposed to be there and i'm like there's nobody <laughs> looked at those books in a hundred right right years. right exactly <laughs> so, but then you'd see pictures though of the homecoming parades and stuff and the people in jail their arms are hanging out and they got a cigarette or whatever <laughs> and they're just hanging out watching yeah. the parade they're just watching it yeah and yeah, there's only like greatness there's only like probably eight sales yeah around that hole it's pretty tight it's tight dude. yeah it's tight i mean you get you're ducking and dodging to go through it and stuff <laughs> it's crazy it up there. it's still up there yeah yeah but nothing's changed they haven't I done anything a great to idea to make it a jailhouse, jailhouse cafe. that could be really that would be tough you got to put a kitchen in up there or something yeah well, well you got the bailiff's room yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, and it, and it's probably twelve by twenty. So. And wasn't there? When was it? There was a jailbreak where they fooled the guy that was in uh, guarding it. They lured him, and they oh, I don't know. Yeah, there was some. I they all the got story. out. Yeah, a few guys Ooh. got out uh, because they lured the bailiff or whatever to, and they they clunked him over the head, and they got out. And you know, <laughs> a dude snuck through. There's a little window that's in the main door to go in there, and some skinny guy that was in jail got through the window and then got the open the door. Yeah, and opened the door, and everybody got out. They, uh, they, you know, I don't know. That was a long time ago, but it could have been. I, I just remember hearing that story. Mm. But you know, it was maximum security with eight cells. It was, <laughs> it was so Andy, Andy Griffith on steroids <laughs> is what it was. So, <laughs> well, man, this has been great. I uh, can't yeah. thank you enough for coming. Here. I wish we could have convinced David. Yeah, you know, but he he's got a lot more stories than I do because right. you know he well, remembers Rockwell a lot further. But back. that mean you can't come back and we convince David to come back. Well, tell him to get a computer so he can right. come here. Yeah, you, yeah, you. <laughs> Tell him to get a computer, okay? And speaking of computers, I want to do that. We haven't done this, Jay, and we got to do this. If you're watching us now, click that subscribe button. That's right. We've got to get some people subscribing because that's going to help us, and they'll get you updates for more great guests like Russell and all that. we got some good ones coming up. And so, uh, but yeah, hit that subscribe button because if you're like me, I go and watch all these podcasts, but I forget to subscribe, but it helps the podcast a lot. And so, yeah, hit that subscribe button right now. In fact, we'll wait. Go ahead. Okay, now you've done it. Okay, Okay, everything's good. All right, there we go. All right. Hey, man, appreciate you joining us. Absolutely. This is fun. Absolutely. This is great. Yeah. All right, so. If you need to know anything. See you tomorrow. I was going to say, if you you need to know anything else that's not on the record, we'll come to you. We'll see what we can do. Okay. (laughs) All right, well, we'll see you all next time.